Hello and welcome everybody. Today is Saturday, October 22nd, and this is our Heal Teach Love for Pets for the month of October. My name is Deb Purcell. This is my husband, Rick, and we have Philip Barrow. We're from HealTeachLove.org. And let me tell you a bit, little bit about Rick and I. Uh, I have a... Oops. I forgot, <laughs> I forgot to do the... <laughs> Yeah. Is that the football? <laughs> uh, sorry about that. I forgot to turn the speaker off on YouTube. And that's really important or else you get the echo. It wasn't an echo. It was it, it's an echo. <laughs> it's it repeats. Yeah. That's an echo, Rick. Right? <laughs> okay. So, no, let me just, let me start again. Let me, let me tell you a little bit about Rick and I. Um, I have a really difficult time uh, speaking about us. Uh, I, I'm really uncomfortable talking or you know, tooting our own horn, as they call it. Um, so uh, let me see if I could try and explain what happened to us in, about six years ago. Some very miraculous and highly spiritual events happened in our lives. While I was busy saying decrees at night and keeping or raising my vibration, um, I, while I was asking my guides to find my joy, I had no idea that I was raising Rick's um, vibration while he was sleeping in the next room. <clears throat> my wish of finding my joy um, en encompassed him without my knowing it. He started to see orbs shortly after that and then angelic beings. Um, ascended masters and then creator the perfect white light came to him one afternoon and merged his energy with my husband's it was after that that the, that everything changed and rick became a healer and i started receiving downloads of information after that um, our gifts increased um since then and we continue to grow rick has all of the clairs and so do i we share the same higher self during this journey as well it is our humble and, uh, and uh, sorry, I just lost my train of thought. It's our honor and our humble uh, joy to assist you and your loved ones along with our esteemed associate, Philip Barrow. Take it away, Phil. You don't. I know different because I just see what comes out. Uh, I was spiritual from the end of day one. I thought it was a natural thing that everyone did this. And uh, the first, my first healing event was five on a goldfish and I brought him back to life. So I've done a lot of pets over the years. Uh, I, I once actually got a hamster that was dying basically. And it, I got him another two years. Now I'm still supposed to live two and a half years. This one lived to five, which is a world record. But uh, I didn't know that. Uh, I know a, a dog that was going to be put down uh, at work right next door. And uh, I gave it a year and it got another three years. So I just think everything's possible if you, if you use love and energies and you do that for the best, you, you don't only achieve good, good, good healing. Um, so I've also got little tools here, frequency defenders, warrior defenders, but I've got a new one from David Starr that he gave me. <laughs> don't know what it does yet, but it's blue, so it's a third eye one. And I've also just started doing that, uh, teaching children again, uh, at me, uh, better school, I'd say. You know, private school that doesn't do all the control and everything. And uh, they, they seem very happy. But I love doing pets. So, over to you, Linda. Thank you. Um, and Lily from Germany is our ad administrator Hello. today. She'll be calling out. Um, yeah. who is next on our list. So if you go to the chat on the side, the chat pane, and put in your request, we'd appreciate it. Also, we would, we do take donations and that is also appreciated. Uh, can I just say one thing? We also, if anyone wants a special event, half an hour, an hour, uh, we can do them as well. So just message one of us. We, we normally do 10 minutes here for everyone who wants healing. We do the pets first, and then afterwards we do anybody else who wants, wants healing or anything else. 
Right. It's not a, it's it's not a complete healing session. Um, it's a very quick one. Yeah. Okay. All right, Lily. Hey, the first one we have is Annie for her two cats, Harley and Pepper. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hello. Uh, uh, I'm just, uh, I'm assuming a picture would be um, That's fine. appropriate for yeah. you. Yeah, I see one um, in the tree behind you. Yeah. <laughs> She's a healthy <laughs> one, very young, although one of my roommate's cats is targeting her. It seems behavioral, but that's a whole other thing. Maybe <laughs> next pet session. Um, right now, uh, my old cat, Harley, she's 15 years old. She's been having uh, urinary crystals in her urine and her bladder. And um, sometimes there's blood in her urine. Um, so she's been acting out a little bit because of that, um, you know, pain when she urinates and uh peeing on the dining room table or on my be bed or what have you um so uh i'm asking for for healing for harley today i'm not sure how long you need to see her photo for you can put it down on are you done with it phil yeah Sorry? Oh, okay. we, have, we have a harley with the same problem oh really only, only it's a boy yeah he's a boy yeah a lot of people think because of the name, but uh, she yeah. purrs so loud that she's like a Harley Davidson motorcycle. Yeah. So that's where she got her <laughs> name from. She's a sweetie pie. <clears throat> I can see the crystals in her bladder. I've been trying to supplement her with a to lower the pH to the like an acidifier instead of like the the toxic meds that the vets keep trying to give yeah and uh, it's, um, it's, i think it's helping a little bit but not enough it's the food and water um i can tell you that we had to we we have to be really careful on what we feed the cats um we've Definitely noticed drink a lot of water i i give the cats distilled water oh okay you, you could add it in the food as well a little bit all right dad i was given that Change of food and uh, water. I was actually given that. Um, if you, if you, the, what, what they label for the cats on the on their labels is not what's not. You know, when they say it, it's holistic. Um, unfortunately, in in a, in the U.S., um, what I've noticed is uh, the food is not holistic and it's not organic. Um, because the companies that have bought out is Purina's bought out a lot of the organic yeah. companies. So you're getting subpar food. The ingredients that are supposed to be cats are supposed to have protein, more mm -hmm. protein. And um, you're getting uh, sweet potato in their food, which is not good for cats. It's good for dogs. It's not good for cats. So you're yeah, they're uh, obligate carnivores. That's right. Yeah. So if you're not getting you're getting fillers in there that are not that shouldn't be for cats. So we're really picky on what we give the cats, and I have to go to my vet and get specific food that they have to order special for the cats. And I'm paying more, but if I want them to survive, I have to get this type of food. And that's that's just the way it is. But I have a, a, a holistic vet right across the street from us, so we're pretty fortunate. Yes. Good. Um, getting the food right now is really hard. The only thing is I'm buying canned tuna, the cat's canned tuna. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I know what's in there. It's tuna. <laughs> it's not. Mm -hmm. And water. <laughs> yeah. Too much tuna can have some mercury in there, though, doesn't it? Yeah, you gotta watch. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. So I'm supplementing in between um, and getting, in between getting the, the kibble. That I used I to feed her a raw diet. Is that something that might be good to go back to? Yeah, you can give her eggs too. Okay. Um, some cats are allergic to chicken. I found out our 14 year old cat is allergic to everything except tuna and white fish. I was buying white fish and if you look at this tiny, tiny uh, print, it's got chicken in it. It's not white fish. Right. Yeah, no it's allergies like I know of. Yeah. Um, um, well, let me let me let me look for her. 
I'm afraid she is allergic to chicken. Okay. Very good to know. Okay. Because she loves it. <laughs> so, did, so, did, so did Fifi. Mm. Sophie. We call her Fifi. She was eating it all the time, and that was making her so sick. Okay. So I'm going to cut out the chicken. Oh, can I just say, I won't cut all of it out. I have tried to change the programming in the brain. I wouldn't cut it all out, I'd reduce it. Yeah. Yeah. Reduce, like, it. reduce gradually the chicken. Yeah. Don't zero like, it. Phase she it enjoys out. it. Yeah. She enjoys it. Mm. You know, at the end of the day. He's going to change, he, you're going to change her codes? I've, I've done, I've, I'm doing that now, actually. I, I don't know if it'll work fully. <laughs> Sometimes it's an experience. I did get it. She needed a change of diet uh, and more water. I did get that. Especially more water. She doesn't seem to have a lot of water. No, so there's water everywhere in the house, but maybe, as Deb said, she might benefit from the distilled, perhaps. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, have, I have pure water. They, they, okay. You, you don't know what they put in it. Well, you do know what they put in it, and that's why I don't have it. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm on a well. Hmm. I'm on well water, so there's no additives or anything like that but it is um hard water with a yes. very um a higher iron content yeah. than um yes uh, distilled water. water yeah okay so distilled water for for okay you yeah. can add a little bit into uh, a food as well to make mix add it into the distilled the water to the food it's, to the food as well yeah add a bit a little bit in, to make it a bit softer and everything yes okay because I feed her wet food. Hmm. Make it more wet. <laughs> wet. Okay. Yeah, that way yeah. she's getting more liquid. Yeah. She's mm -hmm. not drinking enough water. Great. I'll uh, go today to buy some distilled water for her. The evening we've done will probably improve her, but without the change, she'll just come back to know what she was, if you get what I mean. There's yeah. always a reason why they get that. If you don't change, that part, we'll heal her. She might be better for a few days, a week, two weeks, and then she'll just come back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Should I still keep giving her the acidifier? It's a, like a gel, like a like a molasses gel base gel. Uh, give her about uh, half a tablespoon every day. Um, so I'm not sure if it's benefiting her uh, or not. She hates receiving it. She fights me every time for she doesn't want that medication. None of them like taking medication. No, no. <laughs> Have you tried putting it in the food? Um, and feeding her by herself in a her room? Uh, she does get fed by herself uh, in the room usually. There's no one bothering her or anything like that. Um, uh, I can try to do it. Sometimes I have to have her lick it off her fur because it's a sticky uh, thing. I think she would eat around it. <laughs> so I usually end up putting it like yeah. right back of her, her throat. So she has how, no how long is she up um, about? It started last year. So, so it really year. hasn't helped her? Um, yeah, it, it has. It's been less. There's, I don't see any blood anymore, and it's less frequent. Um, so it seems to be a little bit better, but it's not 100% because she still has the problem. But it's just keeping it from getting worse, basically. It's like keeping her on a on a plateau level, I guess. It's Well, it, it should cure her. What is it's not it's not helping her then. Where's the cure? That's the question, right? It uh, it lowers yeah. some pH, but it doesn't keep it me not enough because mm. there's still some crystals, but they're not as large as they used to be. And she doesn't have a lot of them pass very quickly, um, rather than getting stuck like they did yeah. last year. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely the food she's eating. Okay. Yeah, and the water, like you said. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Hard water is not good for anybody, actually. No, that's it. Uh, the water softener needs to be fixed. So that's definitely on the list. Um, are we ready for it looks She looks better better already. Um, dissolved, we dissolved the um, crystals. 
healed her bladder. Flushed out her kidneys. Cleaning cleaning her teeth and the plaque in her teeth. Mm -hmm. And gums. Yep, she's definitely got some buildup. The distilled water will make a difference on that too. Okay. Excuse the dog snoring. I'm <laughs> sure it's him snoring. Did you private message me about borax? Yes, I did. I might as well say, it, honey. Uh, what's the question? What, what, borax basically outlines your body. I'm not sure about animals. I'm really okay. not sure. Uh, it's probably the best thing humans can have, but I'm not a doctor. I'm not a vet either. No. So what was the question? One last question. When you have a free moment, can the borax be used in conjunction with the DE? What does DE mean? Mm -hmm. The or, diatomaceous earth, the food grade diatomaceous earth. Uh, yeah, it could be. Definitely. Okay. Borax is a na natural substance. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And I have it and Deb has it. So. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm just not sure. I, I was actually thinking, would borax help her? I'm not a vet. I was I'm thinking not. the same thing, isn't that <laughs> odd? Because, I mean, it, it would be probably good, be good for all the cats mm. for their but, pH. But my new tiny, tiny bit. Uh, on a human, it's yeah. like uh, the two liters they have uh, on a on male, half uh, a tablespoon full. So it's really hardly anything. So. I and that it could easily be mixed into her food. Yeah, but I, I would say in my my need because oh, I, I check out. Has anyone done anything? It would be anything like in distilled water. Put a pinch of it. Mm. Yeah. In a, in a few. Since you were you were both thinking it, there's something to that. I mean, mm. it doesn't. Uh, that's something not to be ignored. Yeah, it takes all the acids out and stuff like that. So. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking but didn't say anything. <laughs> you were thinking it too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, look I'm gonna uh, you know, I'm I'm gonna do it now for our cats. Yeah. I'm gonna put a separate um gallon container and I'm gonna put a pinch of it just for them. Yeah, okay. my new different than humans, I would say. Yeah. It can't yeah. hurt. It can't hurt them because it's 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 not toxic. Mm. Great. Okay, great, good to know. Thank you so much. Mm. Was that the question about and was that to do with you or uh, that? no it was, well for, for me as well for me as well <laughs> for for women uh to do it on a, a daily it's uh it's 32 ounces of distilled water and an eighth of a teaspoon i i just do a quarter of a teaspoon um in, in 32 ounces of distilled water i do the right. same measurement as a man i don't they said for women do half of the um eighth of a, a quarter a quarter teaspoon but i'm like what's the difference and why do you do that half of that for a woman mm. why is that i just did that same measurement for it's man. discrimination isn't it <laughs> <laughs> what's the uh, what, what are you supposed to do? you're supposed to have a liter a day with uh, a quarter teaspoon full. but i have a cup a day so i have less but you're supposed to have it for five days and have a break but I have right. it every every day. But I know sometimes I just make a cup of tea and a tiny bit. And I can't mm. be bothered mixing it. But you, you got to mix it with hot water to, to, to solidify it all. Right. I put a little bit of juice in the in the rest of distilled water. I, I, I just there's, there's, a, there's a video on my Facebook from, a, from a, oh, an expert. From an expert. One liter is thirty three and three 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 five five ounces or something like that so i have a 32 ounce bottle so it's to me it's close enough it's, it's like an ounce away from thir a, a liter you could do right. yeah i'm in canada like, if you were generally metric uh, like philip hmm? no <laughs> i'm not metric i'm in the states where they never taught us metrics i'm <laughs> both i'm both but on, on liquids we seem to need over metric more but i'm still in miles and inches so it depends you still have to look it up. I have to convert. I to go, go on Google and try and convert things on Google. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, um, I don't know, because I had a second cat. I don't know if you want to go to somebody else and come back to me for this. Now, we're here now. Just do it. <laughs> okay. uh, this is Pepper. 
I'm sorry, he, what was her name? He is Pepper. Oh, Pepper. Pepper. My little peppercorn. He's only got one testicle. <laughs> um, he is five years old, and I think he has problems with his teeth. He's always had problems with his teeth. Um, uh, I found him at uh, four weeks old under a railway, railway car. I don't want to happen to his mother. And he, even when he was a kitten, the vet was like, I want to pull his teeth. I'm like, he's a baby, can't pull his teeth out. And so um, I've been trying to find how I can help him with that or if there's something underlying uh, that causes it's, it's no, problem. It's not a disease, and it? it's not a gum disease. Mm. Okay. It's a possibility. As, especially if it's like a wild cat, kind of a wild one, something. We tried yeah. cleaning his cleaning his teeth. Uh, not yet. Like like a vet uh, cleaning or with a toothbrush. Like a vet clean. There's a antibody antibiotic, don't we? But let, let's see what we can do. I'm not an antibiotic. Fan. How how old was he when you got him? He was four weeks old, only a month. Paralytic. I can't remember. Mm. Was he malnutrition? Uh, he, he was when I found him, definitely. Uh, I don't know how long he that's, was alone. That's why um, That's why his teeth are so bad. He's, he was severely malnutrition. Um, was, is he a runt, like a runt of the litter? Uh, yeah, he's quite uh, short compared yeah. to uh, the other cats. Yes. He, he didn't get enough of them. Uh, mother's milk okay so he never got like the like the antibodies or yes does he drink milk at all no no milk have you tried giving him milk no that's really bad for cats to my knowledge no. he drinks no. a lot of water we have cats that drink milk all the time yeah because they generally don't have the enzymes to break down uh, cow's milk. We we did the goat's milk. We did goat's milk. Oh, okay. Do you think that might help him? Let me try it. I I was given parvaritis, and I've just checked it out, and it's a very similar gum disease in cats. So I have a feeling he's got some sort of gum disease, and he's had it from birth. It's probably from his mother being white. Was that gingivitis? Uh, I think Sophie's cat's got something similar and it, 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 it will have it all its life. You've just got to like try and clean its gums or give okay. it antibiotics. But I've tried to would, do um, Would colloidal silver help on an antibiotic level? I never thought of that one. <laughs> I'm not a vet. I don't know. <laughs> I know it's good for... Uh, well, I, in my opinion, it's good for cancer, but I'm yeah, not sure about gum disease. Uh, I do have some for myself and for the pets. If there's a cut or something, I'll spray it or I'll I'll ingest it myself as well. I don't know if that would. I don't think that would hurt them. Okay. Add a little. I, I, I do think it. I think it's a birth disease. It's it's a disease from birth. Okay, that's my opinion. Definitely is. Life. It definitely is. Um, <sighs> a lot of wild animals, you know, one that strays and everything, they do get diseases. Uh, yeah. But uh, I think uh, Sophie's cat's got something very similar. So does mine. We have one that was uh, feral. Um, and she's, we're going through it now, but she, I mean, she's 14 now, but mm -hmm. just, we're fighting it, fighting losing her. Mm -hmm. Hard. But, but a good way is to try and clean the gums. Yeah, but would would he let you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that's they the have, thing. Um, they put them they under. Have cat toothpaste, I think, now. Yeah. I, I think you can actually have like a liquid that you can mix with the food and it, it can clean. Yeah, because the, vet, the vets, I think, they put or, them out. Yeah, they have to put them out to, to, to um, clean their teeth. Uh, yeah. And it's very expensive. Yeah, okay. exactly. Mm. Um, maybe uh, salmon oil that he might like uh, if I brush his teeth or gums with that. I think you can just get a liquid. It can clean the gums. 
Mm. Sure, you can. I don't mean America. I don't mean the UK. You can. Yeah. yeah. It's whether it has it's yeah, yeah. mixed with the food. Yeah. Okay. I've given you meal in anyway, so it might be better now. It might improve. I can't see me being able to get rid of it, uh, about you know a disease. That's right. a bit different. Uh, is there something that might help alleviate um, either food-wise or in another way, um, in addition to what we've already spoken of? Or I, I know the normal treatments, antibiotics, and then cleaning the teeth. So you better try and get a substitute for that. Uh, cleaning the teeth as well. Uh, let me just think. But I've given him a ring, so. Thank you, because pulling his teeth out just seems so drastic. It's a, that's a last resort. I'm trying to picture, I'm trying to do the cleaning. Okay. Yeah, just try and clean the gums, that's all I'm getting. Just try and get the gums clean. Let me do this. Uh, is there any, uh, what do you call it, alternative medicines, Deb? He's not currently on any medication. Is he eating and drinking? Yes. Okay. And he drinks a lot of water. That's good. Maybe change the water again. <laughs> yeah, this is filled for all of them, right? Yes. Because yeah, it's, it's better for them. All, there's 11 cats in the house because we've done fostering and foster fails and rescued off the street. Uh, the mothers of the kittens, we took the feral mothers in and spayed them and they're here with their kittens too. So it, it's a full house. So yeah. it's still for everyone. It's just better that way, I think, eh? Yeah. Yeah, find a way of cleaning the seat. Okay. okay. I've got a, a little kitty cat toothbrush. Uh, so I'm going to try to... Uh, do you want to video it so we can watch? They have those things on Amazon that you can hang the kitties with their paws <laughs> out. Right, right. I've seen that. I've seen that I can, yeah, that's pretty funny. I, um, I just don't have anything to hang it on. Yeah. <laughs> um, because that's what was my next resort. Trying to get the, um, the teeth cleaned myself. Right. I, there's, we have to catch her. She's she hides in the the recesses underneath the bed where we can't reach her. Oh no! We actually take the vacuum cleaner and, and go underneath the bed and scare her <laughs> out. I mean, traumatize the damn cat. Yeah. I, you know, I don't want to do that, but we have to. Or I take a yeah. broom. <laughs> do you suck her out? <laughs> and, you know, we have to go on both sides to tr to get to get her out and. Now she knows she won't come near us. <laughs> <laughs> they, they know. <laughs> they know what's coming. Just to get medicine, we were, we were, you know, I was putting the fluids in her because she's, I mean, literally a skeleton. She was star starving herself because of her teeth. I could, we had to catch her to get her to the vet. This is a cat that's never been to a vet because we could never catch her. <laughs> Yeah, Sophie's cat didn't eat for two and a half, two days till I got her. I just forced her. <laughs> she doesn't like me. <laughs> Sometimes you got to be cruel to be kind. And, 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 mm, for their own good, right? Yeah. Well, you got a seven-year-old and a 68-year-old. I mean, we're, we're not crawling on our hands and knees very well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we don't run. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. You're welcome. Are you doing cards, Phil? Go on, man. <laughs> oh, cards for the kitties? <laughs> really for you. First. Yeah. <laughs> it's up to you, Rick. whoever you want. I'll give you two cards. You, tell, think, you, you tell think me. what you need them for, and I'll let you know. For the cats. Yeah. Um, okay, for Pepper's teeth. Stop. And tell them stop. There you go. You, you got it. <laughs> you, did you say stop? Yes. Yeah. Sorry, my fault. I was still talking. Right. That, say, that says exactly. You need to study more on this. Yeah. Do some uh, research. Yeah. If you, 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 you feel like you need a miracle. Yeah. That's what the yeah. miracles are. Let, let God give you the signs. That's it. Uh, study. Obviously study. Learn new skills. 
yeah. grow on your journey. I think new skills about alternative. I, I, I Google cats with bad. I think most cats have bad teeth actually. <laughs> yeah, is an eye proportion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to learn, um, taking uh, classes on uh, animal Reiki to try yeah. to help them away a little bit. Maybe it's opening a door to something else. Mm-hmm. But yeah, he kind of needs a miracle <laughs> for the teeth. Yeah, uh, that could be your answer. Could start doing healing on his teeth and see him. You could channel the uh, antibiotics ingredients into his teeth, into his body. You don't have to give him the chemicals. You can just ask the universe for the actual ingredients and channel it while you're doing the healing. Like direct from source to the chemical? Yeah, for that, the ingredients that they normally use. These, I think they give them antibiotics and it clears the teeth for about a month or two and then it comes back again. I think it's parvaritis. I'm sure it's something like that. Parvaritis? I think it's something like that. It's it okay. rings a bell. It rings a bell. Okay. Oh, thank you, Philip. All right. Okay. Go to the next one. Yes. Bunny for book. Yeah, it's funny because he literally has been waiting this whole time, and now he laid down. Mm-hmm. There you go. Hi, handsome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how's your side blurred and pretty kissing? <laughs> and then it's back. <laughs> well, one, si- one side is blurred. You're blurred a lot of times, Rick isn't. I don't get that. Is it how you, in, 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 in different distances? I don't get it. He's had an interesting week. Um, there's been pity. And I just took in two more. Um, and then last night, one of the other neighbors came out. I brought him in and tried to talk to him this morning, but he's a lover. He, he loves on these kitties. But he's back to his normal self. I just want to make sure he's okay. I'm not here. Where's your saying, Bonnie? You need his picture anymore? Yeah, it's hard to understand. That was sideways. Maybe that's why. Yeah. You okay with him? Yes. No, we've had an interesting week. Um, I've now got a house full of kittens that I wasn't expecting but he loves them he seems really depressed this is very much a walk um uh, the roommate moved out who is really really anxious and he misses her mm. he does um I'm the productive one so I was in and out all the time and but uh we have another neighbor that's got a dog that they let loose and I'm I can't walk him as much as I would like to, especially because it's going into winter and I love taking him out in the sun um, and then taking advantage of it. But that's why he's he's grieving because she left last week. I, I, I got the message and he wanted you want to walk. <laughs> Ready to- they make, I know and I would love to do that and I've got to be <laughs> strategic in the neighborhood because that's how I broke my rib, Philip. Mm. Well, if, is there, there's a leash law there, right? Yes, and I have a lead as well as a leash, but that's how I got hurt is I usually leave them on the lead because we'll sit out. You know, but is your neighbor leaving the dog loose? Several times they have, and apparently the guy that owns the dog went to jail and the girlfriend doesn't care. She just lets the dog out, and I've had to go out and investigate. And it, it's been a nuisance here this last this last year these people are in and out i mean it's a revolving door and they leave their animals so i've already reported it to many so you know i just take care of them and rehome them which is not what i've been planning on obviously but um it's been a challenge because it's three families that do it and you know they're they're puppies so, I mean, it's it's then going over and having conversation, but he's depressed because the one that he really wants to play with, who's been, that's further down from here on a leash, I haven't even been able to relax long enough to go and introduce them. Is there, a dog, is there a dog park near you? 
not that I'm aware of, but again, um, I've, I've been doing my homework, Deb, I've been working on my abundance um, relationship. So uh, I start my new job on Monday. So I've just been making sure their needs have been met and uh, trying to rehome these other two kittens. I don't want to take on any more responsibility because I really right. want to move. And I just, I can't, but again, these are two, these two kittens are actually the other neighbors that they don't feed them. And the one little girl swallowed something, but uh, she was pooping blood and I, she's not anymore. And she wouldn't let me check her throat, but it appears it's been, it's okay now, but they won't take them back. I've already talked to them twice and they don't care. So. It's a world we're in, isn't it? A lot of people don't care for anything anymore. Um, from what I understand, these two gray cats, and I can't tell you what type of cat they are, they told me, but I don't know. Apparently they're very rare and they're expensive animals. And I'm like, what has that got to do with anything, people? I don't know. I just, she looks healthier. She's, uh, her eyes now at least look like she's doing okay, but he loves the kitties. He wants to play with them and, and he does, but she's really, really skittish. And uh, I just don't want him to get hurt with her, but she adores him. I mean, literally adores him. This is the one that I was telling you about that goes up underneath him and kisses underneath his chin. And she's okay with the dog, but the other cats, because they're all male, uh, she don't even give, she'll swat at him and stuff. So, but they're all loving. And then I had a, another one, like I said last night, that I had to keep him separate because he's not used to other animals, especially the dogs. But he's depressed because he's not getting the attention that he deserves because I'm having yeah. to deal with negligent. Yeah, I don't see anything physically wrong, but I, I see that emotionally he's... Yeah, well, perk him up a little bit. I don't like seeing him that way. It, it's difficult, but he's... Um, he is a little depressed because Sharon moved out last weekend and um, I haven't been able to put him out on the lead. Uh, it's a 40 foot lead and I like to go out in the sun. Well, I would look up a dog park near you and put him in the car and take him there. I like to take him to the, uh, uh, there's a couple other uh, outdoor facilities that during the day you can go. And a lot of people don't go during the day anyway not even now even on the weekend so i like to take them there it's about six miles away and he loves it yeah you know, then don't and walk them if you've got dogs loose in the area that you know you can't walk them then take them in the car well i had to have money to do that Deb. you got that resolved though you have to have money to go in the car you don't have a car yeah. uh well i just now got I, i've had some really expensive oh. issues oh not my own but oh. that's been dealt with and now i can uh resume my life how about that okay but he'll you. be all right yeah well with your attention he'll be fine yeah i just got a little concerned because um i'm working on his this type of dog is notorious for um skin issues so i went and got some coconut oil and i've been putting that's it the best in his thing for it yeah, and uh, well, I've actually also been putting it in his food. It's a, it's excellent. You know, and yeah. um, uh, oatmeal baths. So he's been doing pretty good. But what it did do is he had a batch of new fleas. And I'm going, oh, Lord, have mercy. Well, the, coconut oil, the coconut oil is good for that, too. Yeah, I'm going to treat the yard. You know what else is good for the any fleas in the house? Dawn the, and Alexa. The bore team, the bore team that we use. Borax. The borax. borax. Yeah. Um, well, I found out that. Well, I have to treat the sprinkle yard. it, sprinkle it out in the house because they um, they eat it, and uh, when they put any moisture, drink any moisture, it it, it swells up and it. <laughs> You're killing fleas, then. <laughs> um, I just put Dawn in a bowl and put a light on it, and it takes care of it like that. There's, yeah, it, it's it's not an infestation in the house, but I do have to treat the yard because I noticed that the other day when I was out there, just sitting there by myself, and I'm like, oh no. But I got neem oil and neem powder for that, and I just haven't 
and I have the sprayer. I just haven't had a chance to get out there and do it yet. And it's been challenging to say the least. Like I said, um, just because I'm kind does not mean I'm always nice. Duke yeah. Duke, when do you say stop? Are you going to wink? No? <laughs> All right. Stop, Phil. That's okay. Uh, just one sec. <sighs> It's his cute little accent. Sometimes I can't hear what he said. Yes, but it, not me. Yeah, I got a cute accent. <laughs> yeah, what are the Yeah, you've got blessings. Or your dog's got blessings. You're getting uh, extra blessings because of the difficulties he's having at the moment. Pro probably is a bit jealous with uh, not having you all the time. And study, look for new skills and ideas to grow your journey, like a walk. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit sarcastic. I don't mind. <laughs> Him and I love just to go off by ourselves. To be perfectly it's honest, easier to deal with. To be perfectly honest, I should give our dog more walks. So, just well, I'm always time. up, and he gets. He doesn't really get jealous. It's just that it's the time that I have to spend with the cats dumping over the water or the plants, so I have to stop what I'm doing. And I laugh about it, but you know, it takes time away from mine and his relationship. Mm -hmm. I love spending quality time with him because he's a lot of fun, actually, except when he gets going. 80 pounds full speed ahead. Mm -hmm. Dragging me along. That's why I promised you I would wear my gym shoes so I wouldn't, uh, I can stay steady. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Donnie, 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 Donnie. Donnie with the ears that we yeah. can take a flight with. Oh, you got a booboo -boo on your leg? Yeah, she has something. I don't I don't know what is it, but um she started I don't know if you can see it, but uh, like um some rash on the skin. Mm. What did you get into, Donnie? Did yeah, she, good did she, question. What did she eat? She, uh, she ate something outside. Dog food. No, outside. Outside? Okay. Did you see her eat anything outside? Yeah, it could be something from from, from, from field. It's, a, it's, it's some kind of like allergic reaction or something. I yeah, don't know. That's, that's what it is. Hmm. Uh, she just told me. I won't eat that again. <laughs> oh, now you. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> she, she's like, I didn't like it anyway. <laughs> no, no, really. That's cool. <laughs> Lydia, you're, you do healing, don't you? You do spiritual yeah. healing, don't you? Yes, she does. Uh, put your hand. Manifest with intention the cream in your hand, rub it in a circle, the cream to sort out the infection. Do it, concentrate, mind, yeah. you know, bring in these ingredients and then take it and then rub it on the area. Okay, yeah, we try it. So it's, it's, it's not something dangerous or uh, I don't have to go to the bed. Can, can I do it on myself with you and? Feel. Yes. Yep. Right now. He's eating okay and drinking and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got you. <laughs> yeah, another way is to do healing. Take the actual negative part and then ground it. So actually mm -hmm. bring it into you, the, the negative part of the energy of it, and then ground it. I just did it. Okay, now when you see her running in the field, if she stops, make sure she's not eating something because in, in this type a year, it changes. Mm -hmm. it changes with the coldness and the frost. Yeah. You may not notice that it's the same stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Until after she eats it and <laughs> tastes it, then she's going to go, oh, it's the same stuff. Yeah, it's exactly. It's exactly. She yeah. will forget. Um, should yeah. I should I change some something with food or just just 
give you, give us something um, uh, lighter and or it, it is okay with with the old food. Yeah, the yeah, the food's the same. I mean, you haven't she hasn't had any allergic no. reactions mm -hmm. to the food. Yeah, she's fine. Yeah. It's Did something she I could saw I father showed me that it, she was in the field eating it. <laughs> I think she's eating animals' poops from <laughs> rabbit or something like. <laughs> and whatever they ate that she didn't like, she's like I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, hope she will, she she will remember remember this and <laughs> yeah, I didn't like that. <laughs> no, it's horrible. It didn't taste it's good. It didn't taste good anyway. <laughs> That's what she said to me. <laughs> oh my God, dogs! Uh, can you can you check the mama too? Yeah, everything is all right with him. Me uh... only <laughs> What? Call the other one a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. I'm not. A, I'm not a dumbass. <laughs> oh, uh, right, right, mom. <laughs> you, 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 you. I'm, a, I'm the smart one. The smart, yeah, he's. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> you see, we're looking at you. He's like, I'm not a dumbass, right? <laughs> <laughs> because I was calling him today. He, he he did something, and I was angry. <laughs> really? <laughs> I was talking to him. Yeah, it was funny. Oh my god, we remember everything. <laughs> Oh, you are crazy. Yeah, you are crazy. But he's okay. He's fine. Yeah, he's fine. fine. I, I, think, I, I think you need to give him a bit of love as well, because I think you can't just train on the black one with your energy is, because you're worried about yeah. him. That's the only difference. Okay. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, God, those two are so cute. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Deb. Thank you, Phil. Okay. Thank you, Rick. You have full cards? Ah, okay. Stop. Yeah, you'll have to you'll have to do some get the dogs to do some meditation. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. Already no. third time for meditation, yeah. The, the dog it's saying the mind can be fuzzy. <laughs> calm, calm it down with meditation. Calm the dogs down. Yeah. And the other one is truth and integrity, which I'm starting to say correctly, which is amazing. Uh, true. Yeah. If the dog, this is for the black one, if he keeps on making the same mistakes, the results are the same. So try yeah. to teach him. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Deb. Thank welcome. you. You're welcome. I okay, will go to the next one. The next one is Kaz. Hello. Oh. Just uh, there. Here we go. Familiarly? Yes. Oh, sorry. She said bear. That's what confused me. Cat. Hi, guys. Cat. Yeah. Hi. Hello. So you guys obviously are very familiar with Bestie, um, and that you obviously gave him amazing healing before. Um, and he has significantly improved. He's back with us. Um, he's hasn't his dementia and um, feel has now gone away. His brain fog has gone away. But he still doesn't play at all. He looks at me to say, "What are you trying? What you, you do look foolish doing that?" And I'm like, "Oh, we used to play." Um, but he's got a, a thing around his neck and I mean, like little bites or something. But I fleed him. I wormed him. I'm, I've done all like so I'm, I'm please can you anyway here he is come on best oh 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 sorry come and say hi hey come on say hello who's this who's this yeah I know you don't want to go on camera but just a minute oh best stay still a minute right stay there it's a good boy come here best we need to see your face with you how old is he now uh 11 11 a good feel I'm 
It's good. Mantra. It's good, Phil. It's, it's, got, that. it's just things here. I don't know if you had fleas before, and it's still. I don't know what it is, but every day I do salt water. I do uh, different stuff on him. Uh, antibacterial powder. Oh, he's there, darling. He's a good boy. Just a minute. Come say hi to everybody. What do you, you know? He's got things here. What does Bump, that? Bumps. Look. You know what I'm being told. What? I'm being told. Given a. Do you get ever bathing? I haven't, but I'm, I'm going to do a medica a medicated shampoo bath. With borax. Borax. With borax, it won't harm him. Yeah. No. Tiny bit, tiny bit a borax bath. Okay, yeah. I'll do That's that. That's what I'm being told. That's what I'm being okay, told. Okay, I'll do that for but you. But Morax gets rid of the uh, greatest way. It's, My story. It, if I had athlete's foot and I drank yeah. Borax, it'd go. Okay. So it gets rid of fungi and bacteria and stuff like that. Right, That's right. great. But I, I would recommend just a bath. But a tiny bit, I don't get overdo it. I've got a, I've got that leaflet thing that shows you on humans that give you an idea of size. So just a tiny okay. bit in it, yeah. just a little bit in the but back. But he's just like, he's just over grooming all the time. It's just like, yeah. but I've only ever washed him once when I first got him, but since then, but I, I think he does need um, like a medicated, you know, cat medicated shampoo plus the Borex. I'm going to do that mm. for him. But a tiny um, bit. And the rest, you can have some if you want. <laughs> oh, you, could, you, you could have bora a Borex bath. If, if yeah, anyone humans ever, do. Yeah, if you ever don't really? want to eat, drink it like at me and Deb does it you can actually have a borax bath yeah. okay but um I've started having um just a half teaspoon every other day of bicarbonate of soda to alkaline my body is borax can I be saying or no borax is miles better <laughs> it's milder it's miles better oh, miles it's the best better. it's the best thing you can have but it but does it alkaline your body? Is that what it does? Completely alkaline your body. <laughs> but yeah. is that not dangerous to have it too alkaline? No. No. Okay. okay. So I, I just didn't know. Okay. Well, he says thank you. But uh, can you ask it? Can you please chat to him and say, please play. Remember, you're a cat. Play. He doesn't. Well, it's, just gone is he like a? Is he like <laughs> an old man? He, he just said to you. He just said to you. Remember, I'm a cat. <laughs> well, he is a cat, but he doesn't play. He uh, used to we play. Have, we have, uh, um, we have our cats stopped at a certain point too. They haven't played. We uh, had one. We had one that uh, played until he died, and he was nineteen when he died. But we have others that stop playing. Uh, it, right. it just depends on their mood. But you know, he was just, he was attacked by that other cat quite traumatically, yes. and ever since then, he's not wanted to play at all. He was doing deep recovery, but now I think he's coming out the end, and he still doesn't. Yeah, you know, honestly, he'll looks like it, he'll do it on his time. He's not gonna. You can't force it. He's stubborn. He'll do it on his time for sure. Yeah. But it's just the excessive grooming that he's, it's making me. Crazy. Have you um have you tried um uh catnip? Uh, he didn't like it in the past, but I could try him again and see. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll try it. But it's just, yeah, I've heard you guys, and I will do the two things you just said there. So thank you. Yeah. Well, cat, thank you. Catnip puts them in a good mood, and then put they sleep. They put you in a good mood, hey? Come on, tell everybody, say thank you. Hey, tell them all about you. Why you don't play? And he's sleeping strength. He still hides when he sleeps now as well. He didn't used to hide. He's, he's it's like he's on alert. It's like he has to be in a place where he, he knows he's not going to be attacked. Yeah, yeah we have one like that too. Same place. Yeah, he never used to, but he literally hides under the stairs. And you find really, I have to look for him. He's really, he's changed his personality, basically. But yeah, that's yeah. A, a great advice. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. So may I have a card, please? Yeah. Yeah, George just went by the way, Deb. He might be dealing, I think, near the end, actually. Right, say stop. Uh, stop. <laughs> I do shake. Okay. Trooping Chakriti, and uh, he's got the good blessings on. Blessings is basically, he's getting oh. extra blessings. Wonderful, thank uh, you. From the difficulty he's got, so that's good. And Trooping Integrity. We are in the Truth Serum Energies right now. There's all yeah. kinds of stuff coming out. Mm, thank yeah, you. 
Okay. okay. Thank you very much, guys. Much appreciated. Well, you're welcome. You're welcome. But you have saved him. I'm telling you, when he went through that trauma, I nearly lost him there without you guys. So honestly, huge, huge thanks. Thank that would have been you. very sad. So thank you. So we are up for the next one. Yes. Um, Rhonda. She has a picture. Hey, Rhonda. Hello. Hello. So good to see you all again. Thank yeah. you for doing this. You guys are awesome. Yes. Hi, Rhonda. Nice to see you. Hi. Um, so I have a picture of Bob the dog who could, I think, really use a little help. Um, he is a fabulous uh, golden retriever. And let me see if I can get him up here so you can see him. He, so he is a love. Hang on. Going an angle a bit. Yeah. Sorry, just trying to have it focused. Um, Sorry, can you see him? No. no. Back, it, back it up a little bit and then tilt it down, maybe. Mm, there we go. Okay. So he it, is. It, Rhonda, oh. you, can you send it to one of us and we can put it on screen chat, say? Yeah, I could do that. Yeah. Okay. Bear with me for just a second. So, um, let me think. How am I going to do this? Uh, let me just send it. Okay, Deb, you're the first one who comes up. I'm going to send it to you on Messenger. Okay. So, let me do that. Okay. So, he is really a big love. Um, I just sent it. Okay. But for probably a year or two, um, he will completely lose his mind. Um, out of nowhere, he he will uh, just start growling and snarling and be um, so completely opposite of his breed. Um, so if you could just take a look, he does have a couple health things going on with his legs. Uh, so I don't know if it's pain induced or what is going on. Ron, is, is he your dog or someone else? He is not my dog, but uh, we're very attached. Because I was just thinking with all what you've had this year, you might be seeing the energies, you might be seeing what's happening. It's uh, very, very possible. He's trying to defend. He has a lot of pain and the bottom of his feet, his paw, his pads. Oh. In the front or back or all? All four. Oh. I don't know what that's all about. Almost like it's throbbing. It's like throbbing pain. Oh. It's okay. Let her be. She's okay. Yeah. I don't know whether it's arthritis in the toes or how old is this dog? He's only, uh, I want to say four and a half to five. He's a big dog. He is. He's probably 120 pounds. It's like in the, I guess you would call them, I don't know what they call these toes underneath though, but it's like, like, and we his get, webbing, like, we get, like we get arthritis, but it goes into the pads. It's like pain. Oh. Does he lay down a lot? Yeah, he does. But he's also, he plays and, you know, he runs a little bit. He's he's had trouble with his back legs. Um, so I'm surprised you're saying the pads of his feet, but... Um, he recently had an ACL where they had to put a metal plate in his back leg. And now he's having trouble with his other leg. So I think he's having the trouble with his ACLs because of the bottom of his feet, because of his toes. Oh. You know how you compensate? Yeah. Yeah. He's not healing like he should for sure. There's something else, like, almost like bone spurs, bones. Do you see what I'm? Do you see what I'm seeing? Oh, something with his 
feet. I do know that he, he sees uh, a lot more than most. He sees, uh, he can see 4D a little bit. Mm. So he, he can see, uh, so if you ever get anything near you, it's not good, he'll see it. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, that would make some sense. A lot more than most dogs, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. What can you see, Deb? I'm just wondering if anything's attacked him spiritually. Yeah, it, it's his feet. They they are doing these surgeries on his on his ACLs, and they said they're going to do foot surgery on his front legs. But I think the problem started with his the toes and his the pain is going from his toes into his pads of his feet and he's been compensating for that pain since birth and that's what's causing the other issues i think it's mm. it's to do with something whether he's being attacked in his feet or whether he's but there there's some kind of pain that's going on with this in this area you know whether they're like they're driving nails in there. Or the, oh, I see yeah. these thorns and I see in between his toes, something going on. Well, let me tell you, when he's being aggressive, it is downright scary. It, I mean, well, it's the pain. It's the pain he's that's in. causing that. When you're in pain and somebody's asking you stuff, you like want to Right, yeah, yeah. Bite their head off. You know? Yeah, yeah. Is there anything that we can do about it? Yeah, that's what I'm working on. I'm putting a, a like a spiritual cream on his life now. Oh, good. Thank you. <laughs> Quite a lot of negativity out of it. Did you hear what me hands cracking there? So yeah. That's a, that's a good thing. I now he needs healing along his spine because of all this compensating too. Oh, thank you. He's like an angelic being. He's such a powerful little dog. Yeah, not that little. <laughs> well, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> well, he isn't little at all, but <laughs> he's just so evolved. I'm also balancing his chakras a bit out. Oh, thank you. Yes, dogs are chakras. <laughs> yes, I learned that this morning when I was looking at the uh, messenger. Oh. Yeah, it was a, a nice pizza, but you know, I can't remember the name put in the messenger. I might put that on my Facebook because I found it quite interesting. Okay. Just say stop, you can have a card. Oh, uh, okay. Stop. He's got extra blessings and new beginnings. So he's going to be mm -hmm. hopefully a new dog. <laughs> oh, very good. Okay. And that's new, opp mom. new opportunity project. Yeah. Very that could good. be part. That could be partly with you as well. I'm not sure. <laughs> Depends what you were thinking when you said stop. Ah, okay. Very good. Wow, thank you guys. Oh man, I, I, I know he's gonna feel so much better. I mean, oh, poor baby. I just hate to think of him in pain. So um, thank you all so much, Deb. You're Phil. welcome. I mean, Rick, you guys are awesome. So thank you very much. Yay, I'm happy that he's gonna be better. Me too. Thank you. I think we are for humans now. We don't have any animals. Don't have pets. We, we've got we've got mine, but we'll do that in the last one. So. Bruno. Yeah, we'll do that last. Okay. Do we have people? Yeah, we have people now. We will start with Bunny because George is gone. He said he has flu, but he's gone. So we start with Bunny. What's going on, Bunny? Other than you guys just busted me from eating. <laughs> <laughs> um, nothing other than just my hip a little bit. Um, a couple of days ago, I popped my neck and man, I had a, a bad headache. Um, so I took an Epsom salt bath and then I did a headstand trying to balance that out. But I had like 
it wasn't vertigo because I've had that before. It just, I got really dizzy. Like I could see like the room spinning, but I was standing still. It was just, I've never had that experience before. So, but I haven't had it for two days. I still had to be productive because I had interviews and it did happen okay. at the grocery store the other day, yesterday. That's the energies. Yeah, yeah that's I, what I've been, I've been having it yeah. too. I think you also need more walks. Bill, I'm you're joking. welcome to come here and help me walk this dog. I'm joking. He would love nothing but he goes from walking to like 80 miles an hour if I would let him. How old is he quite young? Um, he's older than 14. It's hard to tell because I can't remember if I got him in 2007 or 2008. They normally, the they, normally the stop, they normally stop a lot. You know, big dogs normally start getting old and they don't want to run, so it's quite surprising. All my animals, my dogs especially, because I had a black lab and he, he didn't pass, well, I had to have to put to sleep, um, and he was 18. Um, no, I love to play with this one. It's just been difficult. And that makes, you know, that makes me angry, but y'all already know what, we've been experiencing spiritually and things like that. And it's really kind of hard to walk an animal when you can't walk yourself, but I'm that, sending you in anyway. Very, stuff. very grateful. Um, and yeah. And then my, um, left, uh, groin muscle was acting up a little bit, but I got the tennis ball out and did some exercises with that. And that worked out pretty well. So it's really only been, um, sore because I started dancing again. Um, but I, first time I neglected to stretch first. So that was air on me. You have a sore neck. Did you say you had a sore neck? Yes. Um, yeah, yeah, it, yeah that's what's, yeah, that's what started it. Um, so I was trying to work it and my muscles right here got really tight and they still are, but I wasn't sure if maybe I did, um, well, your whole spine needs healing in your hips. So the whole your whole spine right now, you're going to feel some energy going across your hips, up your spine, across your shoulders, up your neck. And well, I'm ready for you, Deb. It's already going on, so. Oh, I know. I have to take my socks off, and I'm hot by nature, so when you guys do the healing, it's like going to 104 degrees. I know. <laughs> you can start feeling like warm water or hot water. <laughs> oh yeah. And then Duke wants to lick me thinking there's something wrong. <laughs> right boy? Oh yeah. What little girl, you wanna come up here? Come on, you can come up here. Might have to eat my soup after you guys are done. Well, I've also managed to lose 10 pounds since you guys started the first healing. Gosh, I can't even remember how long ago that was. Maybe a couple months ago? I'm not sure. That makes me feel really good. Oh, wait. Yeah, it feels like little fingers. Oh, you. Oh, yeah. Oh, that felt better. Yeah, some of your negativity came up. Yeah. So. The other thing is, we do have a team of it. You know, it's not just me, Deb, and Rick. It's we have, we have team players and spirit world who do it as well. So you can sometimes feel that. So. Yeah. Now, if they can, you know, just send the cool breaths after, that would, you know, that help. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Lord have mercy. <laughs> I have to find some sort of ice god that's part of one of my aspects. Well, I have <laughs> a gel pad. Hmm? I have a medical gel pad. Okay. Let's see if I can give you some cold energy and see if I can get you to do that. Yeah, I usually do that on my feet. Otherwise, uh, you can tell because do I look red to you guys? Uh, see if you can okay. feel tiny cooler. I'm experimenting here. I've not done this before. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> I'm channeling energy from the South Pole. <laughs> Good. 
I usually can do that myself, but you guys are really strong and it's like, woo wee, now I'm like sweat. Am I as red as I look? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. Yeah, Phil, that was much better. Oh, I can't reach the fan, so forget that. Uh, I can't do a permanent air conditioning in here. <laughs> That's all right, I'll turn the fan on in a minute. Because it's, it's beautiful, it's probably 68 or so. I can just walk outside and walk in the cool grass. That'll cool me off really fast. 84 degrees here. <laughs> it, it I love like, the fall. It was I 64 love. today in the UK. It's pretty good for October. That's nice. Yes, Phil. That stuck? Yes. <laughs> I stopped reset, yes. There you go. There has been a, a, a virus around that's been making I, people feel I can't very read it, Phil. Sorry. Yeah, it, first one's manifestation. So your plans may change, but you can receive peace and happiness on plan. So yeah, you're good at manifestation, but celebration, your intentions in changing your life. Yeah. So you, you've got plans out and you're starting a new job, aren't you? I'm sorry, what? Did you say you're starting a new job? Um, yeah, I've had significant changes in the last week. So um, I just, I've been working with an agency and I just called them up and said, I don't care what it is. I need work because I have other things that oh, I want to do. That's your party <laughs> celebration. Well, it's not exactly what I would call pleasant work, but it's work nevertheless. And I'll just keep my juices flowing. How about that? Well, it says celebration. So whatever you can change shortly, it's going to be an improvement. It's going to be better. Oh, hey, yeah. those were great cards. That's mm -hmm. really great to know. Actually, yeah. I've been very fortunate because I've been getting really good cards every time. To me, anyway. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. Lily, we got uh, Katie that needs uh, her cat yeah. healed. Yeah. Yeah. Katie. Hi, Katie. I'm here. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry. I'm just. Uh, I was disconnected somehow from the internet. Uh, the thing is that at the moment I don't find the white cat. He's <laughs> some somewhere. I don't know where he is, but. Uh, I also would like to ask uh, healing for a Basset Hound. Uh, I can show you a picture. Uh, just one moment. Uh, how did I show it like that? What's the name? Uh, well, uh, Rosie, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Rosie? Yeah. And I also got a picture, another one, from the mouse at that moment. That's the situation that um, she, she has a cancer in the mouse. And for a while, for months and months, and uh, she got therapy. But uh, sometimes a little bit better, but then worse now is uh, not good. She's in a big pain and uh, she got uh, some kind of treatment, uh, antibiotics, uh, I think that was what written about her, but uh, I don't know if you can help her. Uh, what else I know about her, I mean, the owner is uh, unfortunately very, very tired already and uh, uh, she sometimes gives up the fight. Uh, they love her very much, but uh, it seems to me sometimes when she writes that, uh, uh, yeah, they maybe if you can see it, maybe that if, yeah, she has to leave or she will leave or, or is there a possibility to heal? then I can maybe cheer her up a little bit. That's what I'm doing anyway, but... Uh, We're putting through the energy. I don't get the message that she wants to go. Sorry? I'm not getting a message that the dog wants to give up. She want, yeah. That uh, she wants to leave. So That's right. That's right. Um, mm -hmm. We'll do the best we can right now. Thank you very much. You're welcome.
You can put the picture down. Thank you very much. Thanks. Do you have a picture of your cat? Well, I don't know where he is. Now. Do, you have, do you have a photograph? Have, do you have a photo? No, I don't. I don't have at the moment about him. No. Thank you. Next time I will come back again. Okay. Thank you very much. Do you, so do you want to do you want to send me a private message or pick a photo and and okay. Phil and I can, during the week with Phil and I can work on the kitty. Thank you very much. I will I will find him. He always here, but at the moment I don't know where he is. Okay. You want to say Thanks stuff and I'll, I'll give. If you say stuff, Stop. I'll give. This is for you. You pass it on. Sometimes I don't understand the duck. I'll read. Surrender and release <laughs> and manifestation. So surrender and release. I've got to try and deter. What would that mean for Donna? Yeah. That could be you, actually. I wouldn't yeah. worry. Don't worry about over worry about it. He can feel yeah, it. I have... Feel positive vibration. Yeah, I'm trying to practice it. I think yeah. it's for me. <laughs> yeah. And manifestation. Uh, don't let the worry stop you on the way. So surrender and release is very similar. Yeah. So I'm practicing it. Remember, if you're low vibration, that's all you're sending to him. I know, um, I know. I'm, I'm learning it, practicing it. Still yeah. have problem with it, but uh, <laughs> now I recognize when I I am like that, and I know stop, change. So mm. thank you, thank you from the feedback. It's feedback for me that yeah. I'm on the right way. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you for your Thank work you. and I love it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye bye. Love you too, honey. Okay. I think the next one we have is Annie B for her brother, Eric. I was just ordering a water distiller online. Let me just pull up this photo. Um, he is, uh, his name is Eric. Uh, 50 years old. He is having a thyroid uh, problem that the doctors are having difficulty to find the source of and the reason for, or he's not reacting well to the medication. Um, he is not a talker. He does not speak his truth. I will tell you that. Um, Did he, um, do you know if he... Um He's a police officer, so he's had at least one uh, lolly. Uh, uh, I, I can feel that. <laughs> and he himself now actually thinks that that is what triggered this thyroid problem. Exactly. Although that just as he says, that's when it started, it was mm. immediately after. Uh, I could actually feel that from his image, which is. Yeah, eh? really. We um, have permission. He knows we're doing healing on him, or not. Uh, he does not. It is actually very last minute, but I'm going to tell him uh, immediately. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll Sorry, right, we have permission. Yeah. Um, uh, we, asked our, we, we asked the higher self. I asked his spirit. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yes. Got both. Got both. <laughs> <laughs> got both? Yeah. yeah. Ibis I saw, yeah Deva asked, I saw, I asked his spirit inside, his actual spirit. And I got and, yes. And he well. agreed? Yeah. He won't know about that like, spirit, which is controlling the buttons, if you get what I mean, so, yeah. Yeah, he, he, he's woken up, hasn't he? He's woken up to it a bit now. Has he? Good, because yeah, he's yeah. been very closed in the past. Yeah, no, but he, he's already told you. So he's waking, people are waking up a little bit. So I'll try and reverse the uh, stuff, you know, the... Lolly. Well, the lolly. The lolly. <laughs> And I'm not sure if he's had supplementals or not. Um, it may have been just the one. No, it's more than one. Does he have a bad neck as well? Uh, possibly. You don't know. Okay. Uh, if he has, he hasn't mentioned it to me. He's got to stop worrying about it because the actual stress that he's creating from worrying about it is actually getting like a, like a pain in his neck in his joints, it's creating arthritis. So, see what we can do here. Yeah. 
I don't think we need to pick her up anymore. We're good. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, Deb, I'm getting uh, an implant in, in the neck, actually. Oh, wow. That was unexpected. And a tracker on his right leg. Foot, right foot. Yes. Just like just like I had? Did you have yeah. one? I, don't, I can't remember. I, I had one last <laughs> week, and you remo- you said it was a devil to remove. I don't remember. Um, after these sessions, when we do this, I don't remember uh, anything. <laughs> Never do I. <laughs> it's probably better that way. This is linked to the information. Uh, the information's channeled anyway, so it, I never remember it. Rick takes notes while I'm doing this. Or, um, yeah, I saw it too, Phil. I think this is linked to something. Uh, he's got something wrapped around his spine. Um, I don't know if it's is it a um, um, parasite. I mean, used to like one of them contraptions for the Kundalini energy. A Kundalini. Energies, it's it's to stop. It's, it's, it's to stop the kundalini. Yeah. Oh. And by sorry. also taking his energy off it, it's actually using the energy or stopping him getting further. It's, it's sucking his energy. It's a webbing on the back of his head. Yeah, that's the one we need to cut. Uh, I've just gone to this place where the other side of the implant. And there was a battle going on when I arrived. With wow. other beings, other beings. So we're joining forces. <laughs> wow. that. That's a unique experience. And these are very, very weird that we're joining forces. Uh, they're from another planet. And I'm being told that had the same problem. <laughs> so they've done what, what we're doing. Wow. Yeah, we're nearly, we're nearly finished now. How's his personality? Has that changed at all? Uh, uh, changed in like recently. Yeah. Like since the beginning of uh, like 2020. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can say he's he's maybe become a little more jaded, uh, in some ways. Although his career is going well or what have you, he left his fiance, um, very suddenly. Um. And he won't tell us why. Um, we have our suspicions, but uh, he uh, he really holds things in and hides things back from from people. Um, but yeah, he hasn't been happy, and he is very worried about uh, his health in that way. Um, so it's like outside of work, there's frustration. He had a controlling cord in his brain. Part of the, uh, you know what I mean. Uh, that's been taken care of. Uh, the battle on the other side has been taken care of. I've just got to get Bob to eat the implant. Thank Mitch you. Monk, Bob Mitch and Monk. Can you see it clear in there? Yes. I love Bob. <laughs> Bob is a, a, a being that when I was in the eating sense, I created like an entity from uh, White Light and Angelic Light. And he, he was to. Uh, take these and it was a squirrel but he talks like the chipmunk movie so, <laughs> <laughs> so I think he's a chipmunk I could see why you love him Deb you know he makes my job easier you know <laughs> removing all the implants for me and for us we had loads of them so we had to create some to, to, to do our job easier I suppose uh, and he, he, he eats them he actually eats them so he needs that thing. Oh. Yeah, let, let us know how how he is. Uh, yeah, tried to I'm reverse it. I think he's had more than one, and uh, the implants came from it. And you know, all, every all these problems have come from it. And he had a controlling cord in his brain. It's been cut like a black thing. Here. So he might change now. Yeah, I'll, I'm I didn't. I didn't. I didn't expect one of them on him tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect that either uh, at all. Um, thank you all so, so much. He might feel different in the next 24 hours. So it might be worth just asking him how he feels before you yeah. tell him. What you like think. the, like the, the, yeah. the weight lifting off of his shoulders or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, his personality should start coming back and this energy stays with him for the next week, healing his body. Thank you, thank you. 
faced up for him. Sorry? Faced, faced up. up. And give him two cards. Oh, yes. Stop. That's what he needs. He's having it out. He's, you know, and all the cards are very similar, and he's completely different, and I agree with him. So he needs a break from his journey, probably an holiday or something. Yeah? Slow yeah. down, recoup the energy. And it, he needs to stop focusing on his illness, and his healing will get make will be improved. So dwelling on it, going yeah. in in a low vibration, feeds it. So it's got to be put more positive, higher vibration. So he needs to see it as already. I'm healed. It's yeah. taking care of. I'm, yeah. I'm healthy. But but he's been feeding it because he's been. It's like a spiral. Oh, I've got a pain there, and he, you go lower vibration, and your lower vibration becomes stressful. You're then feeding it and making it worse, and it's just a big spiral. Mm -hmm. it needs to be a positive mindset. Okay. Yeah, to manifest something completely different. Positive energy is love and energy. Yeah, yeah. But a break, an holiday would be good for it. Uh, that makes sense. Thank you all so much again. Thank you. Okay. You're Thank welcome. you. I get my arm then. I mean, my wrist. <laughs> I always get injuries when I'm doing astral work. I've got an in my hand. There you go. <laughs> Feel it. It's probably. For our next one. Second to the last. Kath. Mac. Hi, guys, again. It's me. Just pain. Hello. Hello. Um, I have a problem with my foot. Please, can I have some help? Your left foot? Uh, well, a bit of both, but mainly at the minute. Uh, and my right foot's having serious problems. The top of it? Yeah. Is no, it toes. Right? It's, it's toes. Um, I'm sorry. It's my toe. Is that toe? -er. What's up with it? Is it just pain in the actual bones? No, it's, it's potentially, yeah, pain in the bone and, and potentially infected, possibly leading to amputation. How did that happen? Do you know? Uh, I'm diabetic and I, my, I have problems with infection and stuff not recovering quickly. It got so excessively wet. It got too wet, basically, and it just—it was a feeding ground, basically. You have um, one or two di diabetes. One or two. Type you, one or number two. Type, type one or two diabetes. Oh, two, two. But the, it, there's a risk of infection in my bone. That's why it, it would lead to amputation. Just one toe. I say just one, but it's not contained. Do you have a bandage on it? I do. Do you leave it out in the air? Can you leave it out in the air? Um, um, I could do. Yeah, I haven't done, but yeah, I could do. Because when you bandage it up, it keeps the moisture in. Yeah, maybe right. for a couple hours or something. Yeah, I would. But they're asking me not to get any any bacteria in at all because it would right. just take hold. I understand, but leaving it in the air, the open air, there's no bacteria. I mean, I would hope in your house. No, right. Okay. Yeah. But, but I, when you yeah. when you're when you're putting a bandage on it, you're 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 creating Contagion. bacteria with the moisture. Yeah. Sorry, Phil, what were you saying? I was gonna say I'm not a doctor, but I think your diabetes borax will help you. Okay. I'll, I'll yes. have that. that it, it's good for diabetes. Okay, yeah. great. That's really good. So the, the video that I, I use, the actual box, you can buy that one on eBay, by the way, the same okay. one. Yeah. And what I would even think about doing is trying to baby feet in it. That would scare well. me, but... Can you actually baby feet okay, or do they... Um, the minute, they're saying, no, I, they're saying not to get it wet at all. That's what's happened. It's been contained in a, a dressing that got wet, and then it was just... Right. I wonder if you could just sprinkle the borax on direct. I could try, yeah. Yeah. I use so, inodine at the minute, inodine and... Uh, you know. hmm. Because borax um, will absorb into it, won't it? But can you see any infection in my bone? No. Good, that's good. No infection, no amputation. And I'm not no, just saying that. It, I'm, I'm the keeping it bandaged up keeps moisture in. Okay. It, leaving it in the air keeps it drier. 
What you've got to think, Cap, is we can do healing and improve it, but you've got to find a way of stopping it recurring. No, I do. So basically, I, I really need to control my diabetes point. better, basically. Yeah. No. Uh, but I saw the I want to tell you something. Rick was healed with his diabetes when he became a woman. When the, when um, Creator merged his energies, then he was watching a football, a, a American football game, a college one, and fourteen hundred people, along with my husband, fourteen hundred, yeah, fourteen hundred people, along with my husband, got zapped through the TV screen one Saturday afternoon. Okay. And he got Bell's palsy, and all his diabetes, his diabetes came back along with that. So we had been trying to get him healed of that diabetes since then. So he's back on his diabetes medicine, right? Right. right. Since that point. Um, so I'm wondering, you know, there's there's got to be something that's triggering this on people. It's my poor diabetes uh, control that's what's triggering it. I like sugar too. What, 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 no, there's one of, it, one of our organs that's bringing this on. There's so many people that are diabetics. I mean, out of a room full of people, I want to say 80% are diabetics. It's, uh, I mean, it's, it's out of control. Yeah. But he was diagnosed with it. He was I, I got mine when I got, I was, I was filming at the time and I got very, very tired. And my, my immune system was low at the time because I was back to back filming. So I hadn't given myself enough time to rest. So that was why it came into my body. But. Um, I'm just a really bad diabetic, so no wonder my body goes, that's enough of that. You're feeding the monster, stop doing it. But there's something. A lot of times if you can reprogram uh, Oh, I can tell you that he, that Rick was doing the bore, the borax, and he wasn't doing it like I was doing it. He kept forgetting it and leaving it in the refrigerator. But even doing it half-assed that he was doing it, his A1C with count was, was better. Wonderful. Did that help you, Rick? Yeah. yeah. I think it does help. Yeah. It, it helps a lot. His numbers were a lot better. So if he would do it the way I do it, a lot, a lot more, <laughs> it, it would improve a lot more. <laughs> that was but my. Do you like sugar, Rick? That's the problem. Yeah. I need if you can reprogram me, but still, he likes like he likes chocolate. Exactly, and that's why I'm coming in chocolate. He's got these right next to me. What are they? I can't see them. Rollos. Rollos. Chocolate. Oh no, that's so mean. Yeah, but I can eat two a day, two, and be fine with it. He wants yeah, the whole bag. You want to eat the packet? He wants the I whole was going to say, Deb, was that two packets? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could, I could, if they were well, there. Two, two little Rollos I can eat a day. <coughs> and I can have them in front of me for a month. Well, I wish I could do that, but it doesn't work that way. Deb, give me 15 minutes of that a lot. <laughs> yeah, I you know I don't I I don't you know I these these are just, I had two yesterday too. Yeah, but are you crazy about like cheese or but or something else savory? Yeah, yeah, that your thing is savory. Yeah, it's still easy to say it when you're not when you haven't got that craving. But I just need to break yeah. that through. But he's but it's I something he comes by. He comes by it honestly. Pizza. His whole family ever his whole family love chocolate. Love his father was the same way. Uh, I love chocolate, but when I'm in a shop, I'm arguing with my brain. My brain say, no, we don't need that. And I say, well, I like it. <laughs> so exactly. I can't get it because the decision is not to get it. But I do eat chocolate a lot. But a lot of times I'm having No, but for me, that myself. equals a wound, Phil. That equals yeah. a, a wound or something that takes six months that would take a couple of weeks to heal for yeah. me. My immune system is quite suppressed because of that. And I did uh, you, see you, Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's manifestation. You're manifesting how long it takes. Don't. Okay. You're a, be you're a being of source being. Manifest it quicker. I will. Yeah. Program I've been great. using shungite on it. I've been whirling shungite around it. Does that help? Or... That's frequency, yeah. isn't it? That gets stuck. Yeah. I, I've got yeah. that on my neck. Yeah. You can program any crystal. You can program any crystal. Yeah. Is there a frequency sound-wise to do? I like using the sound um, healing as well. Is there a frequency that could help with it for DNA? Well, the, the best crystal to use is rock crystal because you can make rock crystal do every all of them by programming. They're the best programmable ones. Uh, frequency, 
it's not, it's not even when you reach that. You said, when you say rock crystal, do you mean like Himalayan So What do you mean? No, that's no just quartz. clear. Quartz, just clear quartz. Oh, clear quartz. I've got clear that. Quartz. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it depends what we're eating here. Your, your blood, your diabetes, or your feet problem. My blood. Basically, my blood is my. Yeah. I'm trying to avoid it getting to my bone because if it, once it gets in the infection in the bone, they have to amputate. Yeah. And that's why I saw the vascular surgeon last week. We're not talking maybe possibly. I'm trying to avoid it altogether. But no. What I'll do is I'll do I'll I'll pretend you've had this, and I'll do the same process because then they might be able to find some in your blueprint and they might be able to change it a bit because it you might have manifested this from a trauma or any problem or i did get a past life of a giant when i was healing it i got a giant come through i'm not sure what that is i'm not even actually sure what it's linked to it but i could see that so, uh, i'll try and read giant wow let, let us know if you can feel this okay well, it was like it actually it was like some sort of egg being that was about 20 foot big like good big. grief wow okay let us know if you feel this in your crowd chat i am doing like waves yeah well the, this is like uh crystal source beings are coming into your crown chakra well, my crown chakra is now tingling yeah we've just got your i'm actually going to describe what, what we do they actually go into your blueprint your 11th chakra above your head and it's like a big room with a book in it and that's your you basically that's your identity so then they look at your identity and then they go into your cells and then they start transferring it back to its original format how it should be wow i can feel it very it's like a do 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 i can feel it like a you know yeah energy in my head quite in my center of my head so it injects its they, they, they inject into your cells, into your blood cells, and then it's like an ant, like at the opposite of a virus where it just spreads. If you get what I mean. Well, it, well, it made me get poorly initially, or no, I've never tried it on diabetes too, so I'm not sure with this one. I'm not manifesting it; not going to work. It will work. No, I don't want to. Now it's just that got zooming up a bit. You can feel it even more so. You have a bad neck as well, by the way. About what neck? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. 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 It just went over to me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, no. That... It's when I, the... how I sleep. It's something to do with how I sleep. I always wake with a bad. The easiest way to heal someone is to take the negative energy and take it off, me so I can feel it. Sorry, you're having and, to. And, and then I, I clear it after. Oh, okay. It's the easiest way to heal a lot of people at the same time. Thank you. Just moving down my arms. Just spreads like a. It's like an up, like like a, it's like a virus, but it's an healing one. Right. It feels not cold, but cool. You might feel it in your feet too. Right, not quite. It's at the top of my legs. Oh, my throat. Yeah, you might feel it bits all over getting released. That's why you felt it in your throat. Mm, you just suddenly felt like I was swallowing a lump of. <laughs> I am on very strong antibiotics, so just be aware of that. Yeah, you're right. Well, I took some of that, I don't know. <laughs> you took one? You might have took some of your antibiotics out. <laughs> oh no, okay, fair enough. Oh, my foot's tingling now. Leather stuff. Oh, my chest. It's like I'm releasing Phil. Mm. Right, I think that's it. Wow. Okay, it's we'll still see it. You what, sorry? On. It's still going on. Oh, is it? Okay. And we'll see it some more with lots of water then yeah thanks but yeah if i can keep my toes that would be very nice <laughs> if you can turn off the need for sugar oh joy i don't need it do i that reminds me i'll have a trifle after this thank you for oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> tell him for rick he's been cruel i see that yeah <laughs> thanks guys really have you have you had a card yeah have I got a card? I've had a card for my poster card, not for me. Go on then. Well, then. Da, 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 Stop. The same one. No. You got trust. So trust. I think that's you got. Yeah. Don't hold on to the beliefs. Let go of it. So don't believe it. You're going to have this, that, and the other. 
let it go. Surrender and let, let, let the healing commence. And nature, so you got to connect with nature every day. Yeah. Every day. Because whenever I get really bad, I connect to trees. I, I put my hand and really pass it through oh, them. To the that, is, that is like, when I'm ill, I'll get, well, why don't you cure it by doing it beforehand? <laughs> Yes, Phil. <laughs> yes, don't, don't let it come. If you connect to the trees before it came, you won't be getting that problem. I hear you. I hear you. Every day I'll go and visit the, the beautiful nature. So thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Really appreciate you. Thank you. Mwah. Thank you. And now, the next one, Victoria, where are you? Hello. Hi, everyone. Sorry, I'm really late today. Uh, can we start with uh, Bobby? Yeah. Well, today is the, is the pet one for real. <laughs> <laughs> no, hold on. It's humans now. We've gone past the pets. Yeah. <laughs> Make me your pet today, another mascot for you. So, uh, Bobby has a choker again. Yes. I couldn't, I couldn't remove it because I've been very weak myself. You've got one too. You've been choking? Um, well, not quite choking, but I do know that it's been giving me, um, affecting my, my energy and something else, you know, something else going on with my body right now, but, you know. Yeah, you both have the same thing in your throat. I'm not choking, though. <laughs> right I mean, now? I mean, I'm, I'm not choking, but I think what it does... It, it can affect people differently. It, 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 I think it, it made me very uh, depressed yesterday. It kind of maybe did some, maybe, I don't know, tried to d disturb my mental thought or something emotional. There's when, something wrapped around your spine too. I, in the middle of it, no wonder it feels... Yeah. Yesterday, I felt, I felt something. Yeah, but have you got, have you just got over a, a headache? A headache? Yeah. Have you had, had an headache recently or stress in here? Something in your head, because I'm picking up something in your, in your head. Bobby, hook up. Well, I... it's Bobby. It might be Bobby. No, no, no. Well, I I was thinking about my mom and I, I cried really, yeah, really, really hard yesterday. Last night, uh, I cried for, I was unhappy for the whole night. So I'm, you know, with my back, and the other thing that's going on, because, you know, heavy bleeding and all that going on at the same time, I thought it was, my emotional being was not very positive yesterday. Baby. You both have an healing, by the way. Thank you. Bobby, Bobby. Definitely your head being released. Thank you. Because I was being um something was going on with my middle of the back and it just had to lay down and everything and i couldn't do anything yesterday and i was so emotional but and also what you call negative and i thought it was just me missing my mom and having the connection with dex being being affected because they're always interfering between us so you know Pook up, pook up, baby. There might even be portals open, but I'm not in a position to um, to 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 heal him. Can you feel that? Hmm. Can you feel the energies yet? Not, not really. Not for me at the at the moment. I'm hoping. Baby, baby, it's okay. You're giving your power away again. Why are you giving your power away again? Why are you giving your power away again? Giving my power away? Yes. Are you trying to protect somebody again? I haven't been healing him for the last 10 days. Why is your power depleted again? How is that happening? It does this like they, they know when to attack me when I'm bleeding really heavy and the energy just doesn't seem to flow. And my dad went to the casino and I had to deal with him. And I wasn't shielding and wasn't shielding and clearing the... Why aren't you shielding? You have to protect yourself. You, your priorities are, are to take care of yourself. 
Mm -hmm. first or else this happens to you you have to make that a priority you have to i notice that i notice they tend to target me like right before the the cycle comes and i would feel this coldness this chill all over um and that's usually when i'm weaker and you know as you know the the really heavy bleeding in my age coming with us it's i was even knocked out i almost missed this healing session just because of my health bobby he's still choking i wasn't planning on giving my my energy away or power away i, I was, know i know but it is so important for you to to take care of yourself first this is you, you, you've um your energy is so low it's usually lower when I have my period because I'm bleeding really, really badly. Energy is not going up, it's going down. So, but that's, you know, that's hormonal. That's hormonal. Yeah. It's hormonal. It's just... China quick to cover it more. Look up, baby. I'm weak. I'm very weak during this period of time, but it's also my fault that I couldn't, I couldn't shield and heal the place and myself because my dad family thing kept pulling me away I've been going out when I when I need to shield and stuff like that been busy then I got into this situation bad timing yeah I wasn't giving my power away to anyone I didn't even heal um, Dexter and I didn't shield him I just let him be even though something was going on with him I know but I just let him be how's Bobby now? Bobby are you okay? Don't worry don't worry Okay. He's actually over here. He actually came for the first time, baby. Baby. He he came. He was yeah. he wasn't feeling well and he was avoiding you. Oh never mind, he's gone. But that's all right. He's, it's gone from his throat. I, I, I actually channeled source energy. I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys know if that if I have I left him outside with my dad because my dad insisted on taking him and he you know he sat outside for a while so I don't know when he got choked but likely because I haven't been um, shielding that place they came through the house likely did but do you do you see a portal in my home? Yes. Yes. I figure that much. Is there a big room? Really? I, 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 I always think it's where it, it's always where the altar, you know, where your mum's altar is. I can't get to it. Yeah. It always seems to be there. It's, mad. It, it's interesting, you know. You guys shut it down last time, and I meant I can't get to the altar. It's completely blocked. Um, why why are they opening up in the altar area? <coughs> Is that your mother's room? Which one? The altar area? Uh, well, we got kind, kind of three of them. Oh. Two of them was my mom's, um, she was a medium before, and she had two shrine and altars for the deities and their ancestors. Is there a very large room, one? With a, an altar area that's large room? Both large. Rooms, two of them are right. light rooms. Um, you're probably Just referring to, to my mom, right? My mom's one. Well, that was um. There's a there's an opening in that one. There's a portal in that one because I see your mother, and she's not happy about it, and she's actually closing it. The portal. I see her doing it now. Mom, mm, of course she's not happy with it. We're getting attacked, and I was crying for her last night. Well, she's closing that portal. I'm working with her. Well, right. There you go. <laughs> we're not. We're not. We're not going to close it. We're going to portal it somewhere else. <laughs> so we're going to get a portal on a portal. So I knew it. If it was your mother, my mom opened the portal. No, she didn't oh. open it. No, no, oh. no. The oh. negatives. She's not happy that the portal was opened in her altar room. Oh, I'm not happy either. I mean, I was crying for her, and I was so so sad the whole night. I, I went to bed at eight because of all the bleeding and all the all the crying. I've been crying and crying and crying. 
That's like, all hormonal. You have to recognize it. That's all just hormonal. So you I need just, to bring, you have to bring, you have to go into, bring, you have to heal your body for the hormones. That's what you need to do. Because I didn't, I've, I've never gone this crazy, like, like emotionally on, on a, on a period day. And I'm like, for the first time I am like, because I really did miss my mom. Yeah. I, I had to remove her pictures. That's why, like on my phone, my phone was running out of storage. So I had to remove it and put it her in safe storage, even though I don't look at it, you know? Yeah. I, I, th I think the reason why is a portal, I think she used to use that room as a medium. And I think they're using uh, access, if you get what I mean. Do you get what I mean by that? They're using something she created when she was, hmm? you don't get um, that. Well, it depends on which room we have two large rooms, like mm. they're, 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 the dining room and the living room is all one. So it's open. Mm. And then so she used that room. Um, she did. She has she has a shrine there and she, has, she, a shrine, she has a shrine in the kitchen. And then she also has another sh We after she passed. We met, we put um, we put because we can't reach the other one, to, you know, to give incense to her. We made a small little shrine on the other room, which is another living room, and it's a family room and another dining room, so no, you know, not a big space. Um, combined, it's just one whole room or space. So I don't know which one it is, but usually I see the portal on her, what you call the little small little altar that we made for yeah, her. They, they were using it. She's created this when she was here. They're using that, and that's why oh. she's annoyed. So what we've done is together, we've created a portal into the portal. <laughs> and it go, it goes on a ride. So they'll go to go to you, but they'll end up on the ride. <laughs> so, do you get that? Yes. No. What does that mean? They'll try to go to you, and well, they'll end up on a Orion, where you know. Because is a portal in front of the portal. <laughs> Send them to that. <laughs> so, so, what will happen to them if they go to Orion? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully, that's a good. We don't care. We'll, we'll get confused. We will. It's that's where they're from anyway. So they're going back home. <laughs> yeah. So, so those people coming to attack me are from uh, Orion. They're not the human mages. If to whoever they are that are coming in. I, I don't know. I, I don't. Uh, we don't know. Because you've had different ones, haven't you? So. Mm. Remember a portal, anyone can get into a portal if they're clever enough. <sighs> right. Oh, wow. And do you want two so, cards? How are you feeling? Because I did healing. I personally don't really feel the energy like right now because you know I'm low. But yeah, I, I, put, I did a, a hormone imbalance, so you should start feeling a lot better. I don't know if it's just me aging or you know it's a, a woman thing that happens but this is the first time i actually flooded myself because it was everything combined because of this, the, the last time i cried for my mom was when i went to the cemetery on april and you know to me it's very upsetting because she 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 died because of me i was the cause of her death that because they attacked me and my family and my mom was too weak you should never think that yeah. I did, yeah, but that time... That, that slow vibration, I let that go. Yeah, that time I was, you know, because I was, you know, I was taking care of her and seeing her go through all that, you know, it was crazy. Then after a few months, I, um, you know, tortured myself for, for the guilt and everything. And then finally I and realized... You got, you got to forgive yourself as well. I did, I did do that. I did do that. Yeah. Finally, I realized it wasn't my fault. What did I do? I was, well, we were victim. We were under attack. We didn't, you know, do anything. And then when I finally realized it, that it was mom's choosing that exit because of her health, she was at a point she couldn't take it anymore because of all the attacks and everything. So she, she left. It was her choice. And then I, after that release on her, I, and more attack, ongoing attack on my family, I decided. I'm gonna step out. So she, I stepped out, and another one came in. I look at it because my my wife got attacked and got killed. Yeah, she got attacked and she mm -hmm. got died. I couldn't 
protector. It wasn't my fault. It's just that my job, I'm doing so much good job here. We're, we're targets. That's just yeah, the way yeah. it is. That's just the way it is. Yeah, so I so I have released it and I understood it. That's why I think my contract was done here and I didn't need to be here. My mom was gone and I learned that lesson. And then uh, another higher aspect came in. So I'm that higher aspect of whoever that used to be here. And uh, I continue on with that journey. And this is the aspect that has the um, the contract with Dex to, you know, to help him because he's my soul family. And um, I know. actually, I don't look at it as an I aspect. I look at it as just another aspect. Oh, just another aspect. Yeah. Even if we, I have vibrations, just another aspect. Mm -hmm. You know, we're basically a spirit in a in a suit, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we are. That's true. But take two cards. All right. He can All stop. Right. I'm sure I said this a minute ago. Forgiveness, so means what it says, doesn't it? You may be feeling you should be angry with someone, yeah, or something, but you shouldn't be. You should let all that go. Be a better person. That I lift your vibration. The other I thing is ble yeah. blessings, blessings, and the blessings is yeah, an extra blessings going through the difficulties. Yeah. I I think my my, my, I'll, my I'll, I'll tell you what that means i know what it means okay you always feel look and feel down you always look at like oh bobby's getting attacked this you gotta lift your vibration if you lift your vibration none of you will get attacked yep you gotta be there, positive. Was, positive. there was there was moment of positivity where things seems better and then there there are these moments where i can't do anything um so yeah but um, I think what happened was there was a combination of things going on with the sudden, I don't know, maybe because I was dealing with my mom's issue, if you know what I mean, and it you know, got triggered. And that choke that they were doing was actually um, giving me, it's affecting me uh, more, uh, giving me negative thoughts, you know what I mean? And that feeds it, doesn't it? You're feeding it by negative thoughts and then yeah. they'll go up and they'll attack you even more because you're feeding them and it's a spiral but, you got to be in a positive mindset all the time but i don't understand one thing about it though how come my neck don't feel the choke i felt yesterday the lower back uh the <laughs> middle back there i couldn't even sit up and i had to lay down uh, the, the they, they haven't used they haven't used the one in your throat yeah but also your negative anything that's your anything that's already got weakness you're feeding it by worry mm. you're just feeding it so you're in a way manifesting your own downfall you gotta manifest positive energies mm -hmm. yeah. yesterday last night i was really really negative and very emotional i cried like literally almost half the day well that's a release but being negative also it's also Mm -hmm. it. yeah. Yeah. I understood I will have to stop doing that. But seriously, I'm not trying to give my power away. And yeah, I, I, I'm, how many ulcers have you got? You got uh, three. Well, my mom had two of her own, and you guys knew which one it is. And you guys closed it before, but they keep opening it back in that particular one. And then there was this little place that we every time her her her, her the day that she dies at the at death anniversary will and her birthday we will give her some flowers or something like that i wouldn't even know if that's a, a shrine or altar but it was just something we put there you know but that we, is only we, we have our little thing with me wife at a river at a river and we go there when it's a birthday or, or near to a death time so it's not even in the house, it's like a, an event, go there and then we come back. Yeah. There's some there's something I don't understand about my mom. Sometimes she connects with me, like not too often. I don't I don't really channel spirits like you know, ancestors and stuff like that. But why does she if she's 
taking care and looking looking after the security of the home in this way, which sometimes she does. I sometimes I know she's trying to protect Bobby and fend off things. But why is she not connecting with me? Because you got to live your life. This is your you journey. Your journey. You can't have. Uh, if you had under. 24-7 connection then you'd be asking advice you'd be asking this you've got to find your way that's why uh, I'm, I might meet my wife once every couple of years that's what I do well, <laughs> I'm, she... I, I've got to leave, live my life after that's what it is so I mean my mom usually she comes through in dreams she will visit me and one time she showed me that she went into this room she was lining up to get into this room and she was laying on something that looked like a med bed. And But it had water, it had uh, a, a tub of water and there was some kind of lounger in it and he, she was doing healing there. If you know what I'm talking about. My mom showed me that. Well, that's good. And you know, your dreams is your visit with your mother. So she is connecting with you. So, you know, she's not just, she's just not connecting maybe the way you want her to. But those are your connections with your mother. Dreams are real. Mm -hmm. Those are real. Uh, we have someone else that we need to do healing on. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, guys. You're welcome. Is it Kate? Is it Katie's cat? She found the picture. Okay. Thanks, Katie. Are you still with us? Yes. Yes. We are here. You found. <laughs> you want. You found the picture of the white kitty. Yeah, I sent it to the email address that Lily sent. Your email address, here, Teach Love. To which one? Here, Teach Love. Oh, okay, because I, I looked there. Of course, I don't have it. Let me see if it's in my spam folder. I think I can show you the original one now. At this one moment. Yeah. For some reason, I'm having tr it's not showing up in my Gmail. Just one moment. I think did miss it. Uh, gotta love okay. Gmail. Here we are. Hey. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hey. He's so unfortunately very weak, very thin now because when he eats, uh, then he after that usually he throws out because the he cannot poop, and then I think because everything is full of stocked poop in it, then the stomach drops out what he eats, so he's very thin. So you t you took it to the vet? I thought they, what did they say at the vet? Well, he had the seventh surgery they took out, but unfortunately he cannot do anything else. And uh, I tried what you suggested, the uh, coconut oil instead of uh, paraffin oil to the food, but he does not eat it. <laughs> he smells it and drops away. So he says that uh, uh, better not eat. Uh, and then now I'm trying to have to take out uh, the, I use uh, ricinus, ricinus oil. I don't know what is, you know what? If you put it in and the soap water with soap water and then it helps to get out so we are living now like that that i'm like trying an to enema? Help. like an enema yeah. yeah and is that helping yeah just this and then he eats uh, and then sometimes drops out but uh, yeah it helps he is he's still alive and he likes to eat but uh you know what is causing really... the blockage did they say no it doesn't know is, is there no more help is there something no. blocking you know it seems that uh, so i tried something to put in the food but when he smells anything he better not eat so i have to put it somehow you know which helps to make the uh, what is inside to be a little bit lighter, softer, uh, because the, the wet food, the, not, not hard food. Uh, 
it's not hard food what he eats but uh, you know this um, light food but to put in also into the food or into the his mouth which makes uh, the poop comes easier out or makes the food l softer i mean in the uh inside yes because the poop is over so so uh, hard yeah and and uh, it smells so strange so something i think that's something wrong in the procedure the <laughs> so uh, something inside in the stomach or uh, during the whole procedure something wrong and that i told it to the doctor but uh, he i don't know he just <laughs> no idea and then so i tried to look for some material you know what what i can use some other things you know because anyway this paraffin oil after a while i used for a long while and i think it did not help so it was good for a while but maybe it not it was not because of this oil maybe i don't know no idea really I used, I tried homeopathic uh, things to use. Uh, it seemed to me that it was good for a while, but after that it was again. So the best thing is this soap water and this ricinus, or ricinus I don't know how is it in English, which helps the, uh, to make the poop uh, a little bit lighter, softer, as the soap water also did but it was a little bit better than the soap water. I feel that it, it um, result, the result is more quicker and stronger than the soap water. And I just have to put one or two times in it, uh, into his, uh, this area. And then it's easier for him. So because with the soap water, it, it took long time. And then I want to get out. I don't want it anymore. Has he, has he got an irritable bowel? Has he got an irritable bowel? He must have because he's not pooping. Have you tried fibre in his diet? I'm sorry, what? Have you I tried fibre in his diet? Yeah, I tried. Uh, yeah. What about he's, a, he's, is, but he sm it, smells it and he doesn't want to eat it. Well, can you try and sneak it into his normal food? <laughs> Mix it. <laughs> I mix um, it and he, he does not eat it. So I, I, cats, cats have to have protein, and so the the protein, they they can't have certain things in their diet. They have to have, they can't have like um, potatoes. They can't have. They can have peas. They can have peas. Uh huh. Um, I usually buy food for them. Is conserve, you know, food, cat food, food, which they prefer because uh, if they don't eat something, then I have to choose another one. So they choose it, which is good, which is not. Uh, they can have it, tuna, it, like, it, tuna it, fish it was, and olive oil. Yeah, um, why, why not mix a bit of fiber in? Like, what, what are you talking about fiber? Like brown well, or I, uh, pumpkin, that's not um, I check what I bought just one moment. <laughs> we we saw brown. Add it with, with his food, with the food. Well, they, if their stomach is upset, they go outside and eat grass. Yeah. Well, eat we, grass. I, I live in a flat, we don't have grass outside at yeah. the moment. So he would need grass, uh-huh. I, I still because think just is... adding bran to his food. Because what, what I bought this this something which we, we, I have to mix it with water, and then it's uh, I don't know how is it in English, but it uh, takes a lot of water and immediately. And then I try to put this one into the mix it into the food, but he smelled it, and then oh, I don't eat. So <laughs> somehow I try to yeah I mix it so. But I don't know which part he eats. I mix one part, and uh, I don't know how much gets into the stomach. Yeah, I agree, I agree with Lily. A lot of water, a lot of liquids. Yeah, definitely a lot more liquid. I don't know how much he drinks. Maybe not enough. Mix it with the food. 
uh, with water. Yeah, I know. I tried what I tried that uh, I used these uh, these uh, cat food uh, and uh, they're soft in it. I mean, softy parts. And then I tried that I gave him just the soft part. I mean, just the, just the soup or something. And then it was good uh, for a while, a few days. And then after that, he said, not just this one, give me food. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, but, but what would happen if you didn't? He'd have to eat it eventually. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. But if you give so, them the so, tuna with, it, with the olive oil or the water, they, they really love tuna, so they can't resist it. So that's a very good one to sneak food into. Yeah, olive oil, he also smells and he does not. So the paraffin oil was like that. Maybe the doctor suggested that because he does not smell it. And no, but the tuna is normally in, in the olive oil, so it feels part of the food. It's not like a, okay. in addition to, it's part of that, you know? Or uh -huh. just tu plain tuna with water, that, but they, he, okay. they would like to not resist that because they like it too. Can, can I give you an yeah. example? I'll give you an example of yep. our dog. Uh, our freezer place nearby had frostbite chops. So we had frostbite chops for two months. After that, we ran out. He wouldn't eat dog food. Took him his third day before he said, I'm starving enough to eat it because there's no way I was going to let him control me. And he ended up eating dog food again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, sometimes you've got to be cruel to be kind. Definitely. Eventually, mm -hmm. you've got to eat food. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, I could not see any change uh, in the the the. the, the softness of the poop and, and it smells some strange smell so it is like uh, is, is he got bacteria in his, in his uh, intestines it's like ammonia or something it's almost so like there's a I, I, and i'm trying to figure out if there's a blockage that's what i'm thinking there's a blockage in there and only a little bit is, go, is coming through is there in the intestines or is and if he is a blockage, he could have some sort of bad bacteria in there. And that's what that's you're, that's, that's, that's the funny if smell. If he's not going out through his bowel, that's why he's been sick, because basically your bowel is there to process any toxins. So the toxins are staying in his stomach, hence why he's wanting to be sick, because he wants to get it out. It's making him feel even worse. So it does sound very much like there's a block there. I know somebody had very similar, and their intestines were all twisted, so they couldn't. it couldn't flow out of the body. Has he not had a scan to see if, it, if there is a blockage there? And uh, because of the lot of surgeries, the, this part of the uh, the area is uh, widened, and of course, the poop cannot just can go forward slowly, slowly, and they are wider and wider, and so much co is collected together and stay like a ball. And of course, after a while, he cannot come out, cannot move forward. And of course, he drinks not enough. And but I will try this too, this this oil, uh, what you suggested also, because he likes it. But I didn't want to give him all the time, but maybe that's what I have. Can we do, can we do to this cat what we do to humans, bring through the 11th chakra? The original blueprint and bring through the the Deb, 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 I was thinking that can we do that and I asked. <laughs> I've got any feedback. <laughs> you read. So we can bring through the intestines and the bladder I, and all of the insides. I, I, I was I was told why don't you give him good bacteria to find bad bacteria, but yeah, can we have uh, we we're connected anyway, but Okay. I've got to work out where the eleven chef on the cat is. Yeah, yeah well, that goes. Okay, let's see how Kitty does. So we basically brought through his original blueprint of for his all his organs, all of his insides. Okay, thank you. Let's, I, 
let's see what uh, how it goes in next week or this week or in one week or uh, yeah some some changes maybe and i try to change this food change and then we'll see thank you very much you're welcome mm -hmm. i'm giving me your card and it's your prayers are being answered so what is so, it answered prayers prayers okay i've never heard that one before okay i do thank you thank you very much you're welcome Really? Yeah, we don't have any more, but I would like to request for my husband because we are hit with this. We are hit with this thing, and he has a hard time bouncing back. He has now a back pain. He said he has some um, something wrapped around his spine too. So is that from the illness? No, I'm, ask, I'm asking Phil from that um, illness that he's getting over. The one we can't talk about. I'm getting there. Uh, yes. Uh, I already started the uh, blueprint ball going again. Yeah. I shouldn't be doing that all the time. I'm an I shouldn't be getting the crystal beam thing on the work. Tyron. Yeah, I, I, I am also um, seeing the same individuals bringing through <laughs> the 11th chakra. That's who pointed out the thing wrapped around his spine, right in the middle, which would explain the back pain. That one was uh, not as bad, but it was pretty simple. He, I did, I was told he's got a lot of stress from it, and the stress from it is actually manifesting it, making it worse. So it's got to be a bit more positive somehow. Let you work that one out. Yeah. So. He has uh, this, he maintained this negative opinions and <laughs> things and politics and that. Yeah. Don't it's a cycle. That. It's just a cycle. Think. Stress creates, mm. the, feeds the pain, and the pain keep brings its stress, and it's just a, you, it's just a spiral. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll tell you that. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. I think that is all. Yes, apart from say stop. Oh yeah, moment. Yes, now. Yeah. I've got fireworks going off here, so the dog's going to be. I think he's asleep, so you haven't heard him. Focus and power. <laughs> wow. So he's got focus. To get your power. Yeah, you got. To, focus on what on your journey intuition everything like that and he's got to gain back his power okay. yeah he's create remember he's got the power of the creator mm -hmm. so. okay, I'll tell him that. thank you very much yeah i've got one more i've got mine i don't know if i can get me bruno come here come here oh blow it i've got to move this there you go bruno <laughs> Bruno, you, are Bruno. you going to ignore? Bruno, you uh, going to ignore me? Bruno, here. Hey, handsome. Hi, Bruno. <laughs> He's left. <laughs> <laughs> He's half asleep. Leave the boy alone. Bruno, come here. Come here. Come here. That's no. Bruno. <laughs> He's shouting at the fireworks. That's what he's doing. Yeah. Well, what, I should what are do the that? fireworks for? I, I should offer him a dog food, but it's not cold. What's this? What is it? Come on. No. He hasn't <laughs> heard the fireworks yet. All right. Okay. Wait till he does. He'll, last one, last two years ago, last November, I went out of a firework place, came back and he bit through my broadband <gasps> because a firework had gone off. Oh and he, he bit through an electric wire that wasn't connected. He's oh very my lucky. God. Oh my God. Bruno, so come here. Yeah, he, he's heard it. Yeah, I can tell. Bruno, oh, come here. Come here. Here he is. Oh, look come at on. it. He's a cutie. Come on. Oh. Here you go. <laughs> I'm following he's it. Somewhere. He's going to have it. Whatever it is, he's going to have it. Yeah. Bruno. 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 He says, what? What do you want? What? He's fed up. He's fed up at the moment. Oh, my wire came out. 
Okay, but oh, right, guys, I'm gonna go. But thank you so, 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 so much. You are all amazing. Thank you. You're welcome, Kathy. Bye, you too. Good seeing you. Bye. Love to you all. Bye bye. See you soon. Bye. I saw enough of Bruno's. Um, I have seen him several times. Yeah. Rick, you caught him, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, he's nervous for one thing. Mm -hmm. He's got something going on in his throat, and he's got something going on in his stomach. That was last. That was the last webinar. He was right next. I, I told you, didn't I? But. When we were doing the last webinar, he was right next to me and he stunk awful. <laughs> that was his stomach last week. No, it's something going on now, his throat and his stomach. There's something, I don't know whether he's, does he have um, watery eyes or his nose? He's got red eyes. So his eyes, his, his sinuses, and it's dripping down into his throat and into his stomach. So he's, it's upsetting his stomach. It's almost like an allergy. Yeah, he, yeah, he's, but he's, he's got, he's just had red eyes recently and I, I can feel he's aged recently. I can feel it's something not quite with him. It's, it's almost like a, something, like a, like an allergic reaction to something. Does somebody burning something? No. Outside, I mean, in the air. No. So maybe some kind of allergic reaction to something? Maybe when you weren't home. Maybe it's almost like somebody was burning poison ivy. They were burning like something from their yard, like scraps. Mm -hmm. And he, he was, he got it. It's very hard to get into the house. It's quite a big house. Mm -hmm. It's very no. hard for smoke to get into the house. Yeah. Hmm. I'm just letting you know what I'm getting. The messages I'm getting. Any windows open? No. It's too. It's 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 Manchester. They don't open windows. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe one week a year we might be able to open the I think he's getting old as well. Oh, well, he's 12. aren't we all? <laughs> know, he, he's 12 and he's quite a big dog. Mm. Yeah, they don't live that, you know, they live to 14, 15, don't they? Oh, I'm going to... I could deprogram his brain to stop him growing. Yeah. It's still like a, um, a dripping in his throat and it upsets his stomach. I'll tell you what is, I've only noticed it now and again. Sometimes he can't jump on his back legs, but I think it's old age. I think he's got arthritis. Mm, that could be too. But if he's excited, we've got a, a oh, I put a farm gate and a style. And if he's excited to go to the car, he'll jump over the stag. Coming back, he can't jump over it. He's got arthritis, but he can do it when we're going out for a walk or anything. That's fine. It's coming back. He can't do it. Mm. Yeah. So just old age, isn't it? Did some healing on him. Some, some energies. Guess which card I got for him. Not a good card, that's good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Michael in dreams. So Michael's coming into his dreams. <laughs> so that's why he's in a school. <laughs> All right. It's like nightmares, I'm on. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. Uh, Gabrielle's. You yes. showed up. She's thinking. Last, last second there, girl. Hi. Yeah, I did. I was doing uh, readings for people that had donated. So uh, I'm feeling a little uh, little drained in my voice chakra. But I'm feeling super happy that I'm doing readings and helping people. And it's all coming together. So, mm -hmm. yeah. But how are you guys doing? Okay. Doing good. 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 I'm ready to go get something to eat. I haven't eaten all day. And it's 3, 3, 130? 130. 130. God, I thought it said 330. It's going to say, no wonder I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You I still got a sore neck. Hold you, guys. you got a sore neck. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You know, you're smiling as well. You've got, you're, you're pregnant, you know. Don't smile as much as that. <laughs> uh, 
Well, that's been coming up because I'm late and I literally just got a reading from a friend and it was kind of confusing, but I was like, I wonder. <laughs> but I always wonder. We, we did say next year, didn't we? When you dab it. Could be. Yeah. Then about nine, ten months. Then I was like, well, maybe if I had a baby over that time. Um, yeah, glowing is very bright. I wondered if I did have a boy, if it's gonna be my dad reincarnated. I mean, I don't wanna be the same, but I was wondering. No. 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 I wouldn't want any of mine. <laughs> <laughs> they go. It's, it's my turn now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your back, your neck should be a bit better now. Your dad better. had, a, did your dad have a, be a beard? Yeah. He's laughing, going, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not coming back this time, sis. <laughs> no. No, no. <laughs> <sighs> what did we say you, you were going to have? A boy. You might have one each. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> oh my God, that's I'm joking, I'm joking. But I'm not sure. I'm not 100% I am joking now. One of each. That's crazy, though, because that's what the tarot reader said today. She was like, I'm picking up twins. Like, you got these two pages. And... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying anything. No, no, no. I know. I know. I'm just Only like... the two men are saying it. Just <laughs> Rick, right. just, Rick just said he got that message. You start yeah. trusting your messages, honey. Yes. Not saying a word. Because when you said a boy, I was thinking, I'm getting a girl here. And then, <laughs> and then I was thinking, oh, I'm getting a boy. But I can't be the same one. But you never know in this, in this world, do you? you just don't know. Right. But yeah, a boy. Yeah. Could be. Could be. That would be pretty cool. Well, then you get it all, you get it done all at once, right? <laughs> I know, right? We'll, we'll have to start, we'll have to start doing a webinar for messages from the other side. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we could do that. Huh? It'd be a cool add-on. I appreciate you guys so much. Do, do you want, uh, do you want yeah, to... Dad, did your dad ever say bada bing, bada boom? Yeah, he'd always say... He just said that to me. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> you know what a bi bing is what in the bang, bing a boom. It means twins, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, he's there saying, you go. He's saying, that's what he said. He said, see, bada bing, bada boom. She's done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my daddy. Yep. Yeah, I think the bing is a male and the boom is definitely female. <laughs> right, just yeah. say stop. Stop. Uh, no way, no way on earth. I can't see it. I can't see Children it. Children of celebration. Children of celebration. <laughs> That's fine. Wow. There you go. My ears are tingling. <laughs> That's so cool. It's all going yeah. hard. You brought your father through. <laughs> I'd been meaning to there he was like say something about me say something about me and I'm like well the only thing I've been thinking about is like are you gonna be the boy or not I was like okay I'll say it like I ain't worried about it but I think <laughs> he's, he's just he said he came to him this man with this beard and he's <laughs> he's laughing he's going no it's not gonna be me <laughs> I'm gonna be me this time says, but I got you though yeah. It's a good sign. It's a good sign to have someone very close in spirit to be near you, because that sounds like something big to happening. Always does. So he's yeah. he's come forward because something big's going to happen soon. Yeah. He's always been my protector, uh, here and there. So he's got a finger out like this. I got your back. <laughs> That's what he'd always say. He'd say, I got your back, sis. I got your back. No matter what, it's you and me. He has, the, he has the same He has the same personality that he had <laughs> on Earth. So yeah, he's yeah. showing me, he's doing that. To, he's showing me that. So, and that's how he oh. said, that's just how he said it. I got your back. <laughs> oh, thank you, Daddy, for coming through. I appreciate it.
<laughs> I love you guys so much. It's really a pleasure. Like, oh, I look forward to Saturdays and um, I'm hoping to be able to donate to you guys because I really appreciate all the energy and stuff that you guys Thank do. You so that's what I'd like to manifest. Thank you. Thank you. And congratulations. No <laughs> congratulations. Thank you guys. I love you. I love you too. All right, everybody. One last thing. Can we take a look at my lower back? Yes. Oh, do you feel like something? It's either this chair or something's going on. Uh, he's got one of those things. Just since we sat down. Yeah, have you had an day recently? Hey. I'm not getting that. No, the only pain sitting next to me. This, this <laughs> is true. This is true. I, I admit it. I am a pain. No, it's Deb admits is a pain next to me. <laughs> <laughs> I admit it. He's got two of those things. He's got one in the middle and one in his lower back. One of those things. Lower back. It's like one in the middle and then one lower down. It's, it's middle back. It seems to be a, a recent thing, isn't it? For people? It's like he's taking it on. Like he's when when we do the healing on that person, it's it's transferring to him. Or it's copying. Or what? It could be like a copy. Might like, might like splitting two and throwing one over. Mm. Very weird, aren't they? Bob's just pulling it out. Can you feel that, Rick? Yeah. Really? Yeah, pain's easy. I've seen Bob pulling it out. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It's almost gone. I think Bob needs a, a rest from eating and eating stuff. Yeah, good job different. today, Bob. <laughs> Sending you healing as well, Rick. The, the thing's done now. But it's not gone, it's in someone's stomach. Big difference. Right, is that okay? Yeah, much different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Almost, Thank you. Yeah, almost back to normal. Yeah. Well, Thank you. Okay. It's amazing how we get, we get attacked on these. Mm. They win. Hmm? Oh. Get yeah. card. Stop. Okay. All right. You know, my screen's the opposite side, so when I go one side, I'm going the other. It's support, and the other card is power. So, support, support. you are, so it's just like, it's basically saying if you ever need help, just ask for it, and then you get, you're the power lead creator, which you know anyway. Divine wisdom is with it. Sometimes you just need, you need, just need to help yourself sometimes. Thank you. Yeah. All righty. We're done now. I think we are done now, unless anybody has any questions. 